Kaelid. Um, I don't think it's supposed to look like that. I dreamt for so long. <laughs> My flesh was dull gold, and my blood rotted. Oh, this is the chick from the intro! left in my wake. But like, cocks her arm like it's a shotgun. Yeah! Oh, this is the chick from the intro! <laughs> Heat. <laughs> it's a little broken. <laughs> I am Melania, Blade of Mikola. <laughs> and my dress is a little bored. <laughs> and I have never known Let's go. Let's fucking go. That does a ton of damage there. It cuts her when it comes back to her. Get the fuck out of here. Whoa, that was a really quick phase too. Come on, cow! Let's see it! Is that all you got? Just ate her for breakfast, dude! Just picked her up and fucking ate her! Untouchable! It's over. Yeah, Venezuela, that's where my brain goes to when talking about inflation and not like. Zimbabwe? Fur affinity. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Please. No fish. I fear not your bucket. I'm here to tell you, I have zero respect for whatever is in that bucket. None whatsoever. Absolutely no respect. Oh. No fish? No you. <laughs> Yeti, oh. Nice boss. Power. There are only koala fans in the world. Run that way a little bit. Right there, right there. Right there, buddy, that's the spot. I'm hunting. Look at me go. I'm the best hunter there's ever been. I'm so good at stuff. Go, go, Gadget Wigford powers. Give him the fucking business. Oh, look at him. He's dying. I'm the best hunter. God, I'm so good at stuff. Ah. From the makers of you have no control over what happens. You have no control over what happens. Mega edition. <laughs> oh, you thought that you were just shooting at random before. Boy, howdy, do I have a board for you. Time to shoot at fucking random. I mean, there appear to be a lot of pegs, so. There's, there's a lot of pegs. It's. Okay, I think he's dead. Thank you. We have. We did it. We killed the weather vane. We, we, it's dead. It's dead, Jim. It's dead. We don't. It's dead. He's dead. I promise you, he's already dead. He's dead. You can go down the hole. You did good, Baldy. Oh my god! Quinn is stealth game.mp4 prevented. 
Hey, would you like some of your own honey? Why would I? 61! Yeah. <laughs> Bye, have a nice day. <laughs> what? I'm not done yet. Shit. <laughs> Uh, one of my favorite fuck-ups I think I've had in a while. Like, the quest line that, that adds this to the game is not added yet. Backwards daddy looks just as well. Sofa them. Sofa men. Sofa them is metaphos backwards. If you just use the PH as a single entity. Every day. Every day we stray further from God's light. <laughs> God fucking damn it, they caught me again. <sighs> okay, so you have to like get rolling attack punishes. <laughs> the least, the least graceful escape possibly ever. All right, response. <laughs> I wonder where she went. And she just explodes through a fucking table. Space, space to back up. I mean, no! Oh! I just fucking baseball batted him back up. That motherfucker wound it up. I just went. All right. Come on down, chief. See what happens. BAM! Because <laughs> he's just a fucking boulder. I just gotta watch out for that tail follow-up. Oh! Whoa! Worth it every time! <laughs> Bull true. Because the idea seemed to be it bites you and then flings you in a fucking. Ah, oh, there's. Okay, are you the first one? Um. What? <laughs> Fuck off, prawn suit! <laughs> it's so done with my shit right now. All right. Let's have kill him. Like the enemy's gotta kill him once they're gotta hit him again once they're down. Oh! Don't look, Chad. It's not suited for all audiences. Why is it so jagged? You bet. Thanks. Oh, he's jamming! Oh, he's jamming! No! No! We got the last little flick! Oh, he you! Oh, they gave it to me! Oh. It's as off as it goes! Gun dog! Gun dog! I can't hammer with my face! Oh.
I am not smart. Two smithing stone, too. Now what? See the rats. I don't know why that one in particular just had really strong illusory wall energy. The squiddy pool. Keep being awesome. That's the one right on the corner waving a torch fucking him on break. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That's probably death. This connects to all kinds of shit. Okay. What the fuck is this area? It's like, look, that's clearly like climbable on purpose. This is, uh, that's a thing. This is an actual place. This isn't just, I'm fucking around being a moron. This, this is like intended. What in the fuck? Oh, he's got a thing. I have a thing. Cinder, how you doing, buddy? Let me in the fucking game! Get six! Come on! <laughs> it's 6.03! <6 :03. laughs> I wanna play Elden Ring! <laughs> yeah, I got that one. Sandbar? Sandbar? Sounds... That's gotta be Indian, That's too, also right? my guess. It's Indian. If I have no idea what it is, but I can say the word, I think Indian. Yeah. And if I have no idea what it is, but it looks like that, it's Korean. Like, I'm not racist as long as it's right! I'm not racist as long as it's right! Come on, chicken! Come on, chicken! He doesn't have peripheral vision. Dragon just fucking pogged. Poggers, dude. And his <laughs> As they were so one of the best things in the there. Welcome, no squid zone. To the squiddy pool. Maverick. Unga. Oh, hey there. Wanna see some cool sh**? Well, you're probably in the wrong place. You wanna see a guy be a dumbass for several hours? We get you. Let's get it. Hello, Hello. fellow squid dope sausages. Oh no, we're getting, but we're gonna get it. Pale side, 32 months here with the shiniest squidling and Lelivic, Director Scar, Obvious Clone, Lennon Marks, Grass Dark Fang, Mesa Death 101, That Wolf, Inkaruga, AC the Rock Devil, Carnotaurus 1, Remy Monto, Pale Side, Sugar Raven, and Lelivic. I'm pretty sure I read that one already. Starting us off with the cannonballs. Welcome in, everybody. Damn it. I, you know, this is the sad, a sad story that is. I actually got like a functional new like updated intro that I was happy with. It's I ended up just full manualing the transition from the splash screen and it worked and it looked pretty good, but it has like three fuck ups that were enough that I said, nah, I, I need to fix that before I can put it up. And it takes like 30 minutes to render that shit. So I didn't have time to render it out again. Put it on. I can't put it up until next week. 
God damn it. How you guys doing? It's Friday. It's a fucking exciting Friday because it's the day before Saturday. And specifically this Saturday that is the one that is tomorrow is the cool Saturday where all the stuff happens. We got the quest for the Frozen Flame finale over on Twitch.tv slash Official Paizo. The last hurrah for two perception before it evolves into its new and beautiful form. Welcome, and we Squidling, have to do a shit ton of setup pool. in like one week. <laughs> To reconfigure our entire studio to be more gooder. Tartaros, 87 months to pull you with the shiniest squidling. It's gonna be great. Today? Today we're gonna do something funny. It's probably gonna be funny. It looks like it's a great fucking meme. Every now and then... I get the extremely easy streamer job. It's like playing Stanley Parable. I don't have to create content or be funny. Because the thing I'm interfacing with can just be funny for me. It's ex it's extremely low effort on my part. I just have to sit here. It's already entertaining by itself. There's no input required. And then there's the opposite of that. There's the games that I have to, like, figure out how to engage with. How to make things function. Oh, I gotta reset my, uh, I didn't reset the bot. Reset the bot. Make sure everyone gets their little, uh, welcome message thingy. Um, there's the ones that I have to, like, really try constantly to keep energy and to make entertaining. Honestly, RuneScape kinda in that pile a little bit. It usually just ends up with us tangenting into talking about something stupid, and it's only base 12, like, half of the time. This is going to be category one, I think. Of all the games that I never expected to become popular enough or to have enough of an impact or carve out enough of a niche to ever generate their own parody. Of all the things I never expected to see a full-bodied parody of, The Witness is probably pretty high on that list. <laughs> but you know what I just learned exists this morning? And there's no way I could not play it. Because it looks hilarious. It looks like a phenomenal shitpost. It looks like it might be one of the most beautiful developments of recent memory. I'm just saying... The, like, top 10 games of the year 2022 bar currently has, like, almost literally nothing on it. Seeing as only one game is even released this year. <laughs> if ever there was a fucking time. In our hour of need. In the depths of the drought. We have... The looker. If you didn't watch us, <laughs> you can see what we're about to fucking get into. If uh, if you didn't watch the witness, I don't know. I don't know how much of that is gonna be necessary to find this game funny. Because it's coming out, it's coming out pretty fucking strong in the opening screen. I'm gonna give them that. They had no delay on this. Immediate send. <laughs> you want to succeed in the games industry? Ape developers cherished creation. Ah. <sighs> I'm ready. Well, the problem is this is the kind of game that might literally crash or encounter, like, some kind of huge bug. And I would just chalk it up to being a meme and not even really be confident that something was wrong 
Because I've seen a little bit. I saw a little bit of this and then immediately Welcome stopped and said, holy shit. To the squiddy pool. I have to fucking play this. I remember how this 98 yesterday got a love twitch lull. You possess... <laughs> You don't possess settings. That's okay. We'll live with the sensitivity. <laughs> it's the same. Well, I just have a fucking crayon. <laughs> okay. Same concept. Same concept. But I have it's a crayon. <laughs> Instead of there actually being like an interface that we engage with. I already fucking love it. This is beautiful. I'm gonna let myself This is absolute end. poetry. Absolutely. Pale safe. Throwing five gifts up, up, Ryan. It's raining hats. 151 mate. Hallelujah. True demon. Yo, hang his mask. Revelation hats. and Adam V3D with the hats. shiniest twiddlings. Red. Everybody. Purple. Thank Yellow. this man for your beautiful Blue. hats. Yes, I thank you for the support. Tell you, this is gonna be a shit post. I'm ready. Oh, there's lines now, which I assume. Oh, I can't. Wait, but I can keep drawing, though. I just. Wait, how many? You just you keep the pre. I'm literally just drawing on this with crayons. The previous lines don't even go away. They're still there. Okay. <laughs> We're ramping up the puzzling. All right, we made it to outside. Wow, this is like, they went, like real one to one. On the parody here, you come out immediately into this, like, courtyard. Do you even need to follow the path? Good question! No! <laughs> no, you don't! <laughs> this is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. Okay, we're going back. I'm 30 seconds into this game, and this is already my favorite. Fucking goddammit. My favorite game of 2022. Fuck. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, fine. Fuck you. Um. What else can we go fuck with? You can do it. I believe in you. It's less of a hint and more of like... This is all you. Positive reinforcement. <laughs> I'll take it. Alright. Alright, I feel more... I feel more uh, capable now. I feel like I've become more powerful. I feel like I've learned. Alright, is there anything else? Is, what else do we, can we go fuck with? What else can we go... Oh, here's the thing. Oh, no! Can I just... It doesn't matter that they're backwards. I'm just connecting A to B. I don't think the direction is entirely relevant. Oh, an audio log! Kublai Khan received an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt, he may never re-enter his home. And even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. <laughs> In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table. <laughs> a fond memory in your recollection. Okay. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head. And when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Indeed, the only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. <laughs> of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Yours truly, Marco. Kublai Khan cocked what? an eyebrow oh, and declared fuck? before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino, Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. What the fuck? I mean, it makes about as much sense as, as any audio diary in all of the witness. So I mean, I guess I'll fucking... Oh, there's two of them now. 
They have categories or something. Okay. Pass me intentional parody. No, this is a DLC for the witness. This is a, uh, this is the official witness DLC that came out and is perfectly normal. You just can't draw over a black, black line. I did try that one. I, that was my, my first dream was to just draw over a black line immediately and just say, fuck this shit, but just nothing happens. It just blocks it. Ooh, there's a dumpster hint. Go on, get, don't look at me. <laughs> Can you hear me? I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. <laughs> He's got a fucking cigarette and a whiskey bottle. A lot of whiskey bottles, actually. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. <laughs> it was June the 8th, 1947. Gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. What? My hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said good old hint button. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. <laughs> wow! What is then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. Who's <laughs> playing the, the backup music? Like... When all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee. I used rope to tie my pants and pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does until one day, after stealing the socks off a fireplace, what? I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Okay. Okay, Mr. Trash Can Hint. I'm gonna leave you to your business because I honestly have just no idea what the fuck to make of that. Oh, this chessboard. Oh, hold on. What's over here? Oh, dang it. The chessboard is something. Can I use this chessboard? Can I write in the book? Damn it. Like, uh. How do I interact with this chessboard? I had to be somewhere else. This, this is where we came out. We came out of there. I wanna go up there. I feel like there's cool shit up there, but I also probably that's not a place that you can go. Alright, here. Where else are there things? Is there a starting thing in here? No, these things are all off. We need more things. I need more puzzles! Oh, here's a puzzle. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck this shit. I'm not, I was gonna do it for the meme, but it's, it's way too much effort. Way too much fucking work. Okay, hold on. I can do this. I can do this. This one's smaller. This is just... Fuck. This is just Tree Gnome Village. It's just Tree Gnome Village. Channel. Your inner... I see what you did there. The one that I decide to actually try is the one that you literally have to go around the outside. What the fuck is this? Bait? <laughs> is this a bait? Am I being baited? Where does this other power cable thing go? There's a second power cable coming out of this. It goes just immediately into the floor. And I'm not positive where after that. I can't tell if that's like a puzzle that you can solve 
Or if that's just a fucking meme. Because <laughs> it might just be a meme. But there's so many more panels here. Is there anywhere you can, like... If I draw... The red kind of glows. Do you think if I draw enough... It will just glow over the wall? Okay, color it in. Color it in more effectively. <laughs> I'm gonna level with you. We were too stupid for the witness. And now I think I'm too stupid for the witness parody. I have no idea where to go. Oh, hold on, an audio diary. Through many births, I have wandered on and on, searching for, but never finding. Better deal than 0% APR on certified pre-owned vehicles. For trucks tougher than a drunk <laughs> marine come to Mike's pre-owned. Where we do the things Am I that get things fucking copyright struck for a Toyota commercial? <laughs> What's this game? It's the DLC for The Witness. I know what I'll do. Go backwards. Damn it. Damn it. Be something else I can interact with. You're on now. Squid drawing like his six year old daughter in coloring books is a meme on its own. Hey, I'm trying to get shit done, okay? Wildly unsuccessfully, but you know, we're doing it. Just a weird little puzzle box. I can't get up there. Hint button. I'm like actually stuck. Yeah, keep trying. His motivation is becoming less sincere. I feel like I'm just stupid and it should not be hard to interact with this chessboard. But I might just be stupid. Because it seems like it's the book, but I can't draw on the book and I can't use the shield and I can't draw on the chess pieces. Just the ad joke because of an ad? Yeah, that's just poetry. I'm... stuck immediately. We're three minutes into this and I'm... I am completely hard stuck. Open door. You know, we don't do that here. We don't interact with the environment. This is the witness. There. I, like, is this, so, like, I can't, this is the thing I was saying in the beginning. I can't tell if this is solvable or if this is just a fucking meme. Because this game is ridiculous. Start. And. In fact. There's so many panels attached to this. It's got to be completable. I'm just... Too... What the fuck? How am I supposed to pan the cam... Oh, the camera just pans on him. That's like... That's actually like a witness tier puzzle. What the fu- Oh, no. No, they're gonna make me do it! Oh, you son of a- Oh, it's just a straight line. I looked a lot worse than it was. You can't make me actually do the giant, like, Lucky Charms cereal box maze. Come on, man. I got shit to do with my life. What? <laughs> huh? Deep. 
Did it just say beep? Oh, Beep. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I, I hate this. You're right there. I mean, beep. <laughs> beep. Come on. Beep. Fucking... <laughs> in here? Beep. Fuck! I'm fucking trying! Beep, beep, guy. Beep. Beep. Yes, beep. Is it beep? Okay, thank God. <laughs> oh. So slurly. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Despondent beep was pretty solid. Uh, does this come around to the middle thingy now? Okay, cool. So we're missing the chessboard. All right. Look for a tiny little start. This is... So we're playing the witness. It's a parody of the witness. Look for something that looks like a puzzle, but is not an obviously a puzzle. You have, like, the word start written on you when you have your pieces. Anybody got like a one of starting points? Horsey? No? Anybody want to contribute to the puzzle today? Fuck. I don't know what to do with this. I didn't expect this to have like actual puzzles. I will admit that was that was that was a surprise. I thought it did I add more to it? I can draw on it. I can draw on this. S to E. I can't draw the door handle. No, that's what I tried to do the first time. I was that's why I was doing this. I was trying to cross out not. Like you can't cross out not. Come in. I still can't draw on black. Open. <laughs> Connect all of the O's. Uh, so, okay. Very vibrant crayon that I have here. All right, I feel like we're probably getting there. We got to be close. Puzzle solving. Perfect. <laughs> That's very bright. I have no fucking idea. Okay, is there anything else I can draw on? That's like. <laughs> Welcome, Squidling. The I can't pool. believe I thought for sure it'd be cross out the knot. Is it just like encase the knot? No? Negative? Go to Mon 56 months in the pool. You were the shiniest squidling. Welcome, Stop. squidling, to the squiddy pool. Do come in. Me too, thank. Fuck! Damn it! Evig 21 months, you too, the shiniest squidling. High five it on your way into the pool, you lads. Thank you. Thank you. I draw the stop sign. Stop. 
Welcome, Squid. Well, all of the, the bus the just got pool. here. Clearly, Jaster on 68 months. You were the shiniest squidling. You know, honestly, I'm amazed. I thought I was just really stupid at first, but no, this parody is actually still the witness. You still have to play the witness. Like, there's still puzzles. That's crazy. I thought this was just going to be a meme for like 30 minutes. Then we're going to go play RuneScape. But there's actually like, there's puzzles in the meme. Dude, it made it an actual video game. I didn't expect that. We gotta look. We gotta see if there's... Shit that can be doodled upon or interacted with. Any other way. Anything useful? Toolbox. No. Look with your special eyes. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this, but... Your job here might be complete. Because I think it just drapes down the other side. I'm pretty sure that's just this one. What can I fuck with other than that door? Like, it's the chessboard. It's at some level the chessboard. The chessboard does something. Because it is the cord, but it's the end of something. I think we might have to get in the store. Oh man. What do I do with this door? Well, it's obviously a clue, but for what? I mean, is it, though? We don't know how deep this goes. I'm afraid to to imagine. It also looks like it's literally just one, two, three, four. Like, numbers of things, and... Maybe that's just... I want to go in the door. In. Two. In. I would thought, I thought for sure it was this. It was the, when the other puzzle earlier had us just connect a uh, an S to an E. There's also been multiple SDE connecting. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Well fucking played. This could be one of those games. All right. Well, we're in TV jail now. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what are we fucking doing? Connect. Why does this do a witness? Fucking creepy pasta! What the hell are we doing? What is this game? Help me understand. Make it make sense. Fucking connect. Okay. Now it's a creepy pasta, I guess. Hello? Suit of armor. Or spooky. Why do, 
Where did I get a fucking shotgun? What is happening? Why do I have a gun? What the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Explosive! Please do not scratch the game. I'm sorry, my bad. Oh, that's on me. That's on me. I don't know what I expected to happen. I clicked on it to draw. Not, not for one moment did the neurons in my head think I was just gonna blast the fucking door. Oh my god. All right, good work, gun. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity, <laughs> and then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, okay. but like they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be ultraviolet girl, and she has super speed, so she beats him. This and is it, just like also gave her giant cans. Zombie. <laughs> Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. Okay. Well, as long as she's got the. I, was, I wasn't ready for the giant cans. I wasn't fucking ready. Oh. Oh my god, this is a masterpiece. This game is an actual fucking masterpiece. <laughs> okay. Oh god, Jesus fucking Christ. That's very original. It just needs more red, I think. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. <laughs> okay, okay. Get like a central nugget here, like a little smiley face. No, try putting some more loops on it. Or loops. Okay. Um. That's an ass. Shut up. Could you, um, draw less? Draw less. Try adding some more, uh, stuff. Okay. This is my house. Here is me. I'm excited to be here. And there's a nice cloud. Having paint at the edge of the canvas makes you look desperate. Try again. Oh, okay. 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 Fine. I see. All right. All right. Okay. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. This is a happy jellyfish, or alternatively, a scrubbing It bubble. simply must have more loops. God fucking damn it. Okay. This is a squiggly jellyfish. <laughs> he has more loops. It's not a fur coat. Stop dumping paint on it. This is... A smaller, squiggly jellyfish that just has two hands. And they now are... you have too many loops. Is this winnable? Is this just gonna... Is this just gonna shit on me until... <laughs> until I give up and leave? 
This is a jellyfish. He has one long arm, and it has two loops. This isn't the MoMA. We can afford more loops. did it. I made three loops. That is in fact a puzzle that can be solved. I know there was an upstairs back there too. I'm not really sure. This looks like it's a whole lot of shit. Let's go look at the upstairs first because the upstairs looks like it might be less shit than the downstairs. What's upstairs? I kind of wish... Oh, the upstairs is power. It has an audio diary. Is there anything else up here? I kind of wish I'd waited for Bren to play this game. Oh, we're going to come around to this. Oh my god, I see a fuck off huge... Wow, okay. We can see about how much game there is. A surprisingly decent chunk. I sort of wish I would have played this with Bren. Oh wait, the audio diary. Bren would think this is fucking hilarious after going through all the witness. Bren would have a great fucking time with this. She's horsing though. The notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical, okay. so that we can have a single reality whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. Why well, these look like this brings us back items to on prayers. this table? Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique what? individual, have a particular request, which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. Probably. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, what? then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Is that just an actual witness audio log? Did he just drop one just thing that's actually in the witness into the game? <laughs> you know, for variety's sake. I was wondering if I could look down the chessboard. Maybe I can't really see shit. Okay, so we have... No touchy. See a chessboard with a starty thingy on it. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. Grandmaster Bobby Fisher. Okay. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. <laughs> World champion, Bobby Fischer. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna guess that even the board positions here are a reference to some, like, well-known event and probably the origin of both of those quotes, but I don't fucking know. Okay, what are we looking at here? We are playing white? Question mark? Am I just trying to put it in check or are we trying to like win? 
Okay, well, we're not moving the pieces. Are we doing all of them? Oh, is all three of them together is made? Ah, it's the sequence. Did we win? Does it say start and end on the butt of the king? Hold on. I feel like the king... Oh. Not only is the novice unable to perceive the board as the master does, but the master cannot perceive the board as the novice does. A master cannot see the bishop on e3 as a chunk of dead wood any more than you can look at your best friend's face and see a meaningless matrix of colors and shapes. The master once saw the board like this, but now there is no going back. International Master Stuart Rachels, The Reviled Art. Ah. Uh, I bet there's a start and end on the king's butt now. Can I go back down? Wait, can I go back down? I don't actually know we can leave. We came here through the fucking haunted gun library. Can we leave now, or is this shit still fucked? Okay, now it's open now. Perfect. We'll go with that in a sec. There's more stuff. I don't know. If we want to do that right now, if we want to do the rest, there's more upstairs, I'm pretty sure. Oops. I'm pretty sure there's more upstairsy stuff. Maybe it was dumb to come down and draw that. I mean, running through here doesn't take that long. All right, we're going back up here. What else is up here? What's going on on the ramparts? This fucking masterpiece of a video game. This absolute banger. Ooh, the boat. It's just an audio log. A ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once to have her thoroughly refitted, even though it should put him at great expense. Before the ship sailed, however, he managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, uh -huh. and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. Uh -huh. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, that his belief in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic a priori belief. It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Oh, Further, we may see ship. that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. <laughs> the crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism, <laughs> and the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. <laughs> what the hell was I talking about? I don't know, little audio log. I have no fucking idea. I do not have the answers for you. Huh. I to, like, line this up with a ship and then... Okay, we're firing the cannons. 
got to get way back for this one. One of them environmental puzzles I've been told about. I don't know why we're doing this. Ooh, overshot it. I gotta shoot for the, like, hull of the ship. Okay. Yep. Fire the cannons! Got them! We're doing it. We're doing it. Shit. There we go. I got it. Don't worry. I'm kind of far away. Don't make fun of me. Definitely heard a door open. And it sounded like it was on the left. Ah. Uh huh. Okay, where are we now? We are. <laughs> Heck. <laughs> Got to play some snake. Okay, hold on. I gotta turn this shit on. We gotta turn the arcade on. This is extremely important. Turn the arcade on is more important than anything else in this game right now. Um. <laughs> I've opened a door. Okay, the arcade needs power. This is critically fucking important. I want to play Snake. Okay, was there anything else up top before we leave? I was curious about the ship, the audio log. I think it's in the ethics of belief, by the way. It's the other side of this. Okay, maybe now, maybe now we have to do the puzzle in the middle because we've at this point we've got all the power to the middle puzzle let's see what's going on with the middle puzzle welcome Gorgonaut 64 the months pool. in the pool you were the shiniest squidling thank you for your continued support ah it's a key <laughs> Is this gonna be the laser? No? Zero. What is chocolate milk? Zero. Chicken nuggy. You can get chicken nuggy. Okay. I hate everything of tuna, pizza. What the fuck? I hate everything about this. Okay. Hold on. We gotta help this crab. We gotta help this crab. Solve the puzzle on this kid's menu. This is important. It's my biggest challenge is drawing in the lines. Please stand by. I'm having a difficult time. A cold long pork or a calamari burger sounds horrible. Uh, all right, we open this gate now. Ah, you're testing my manual dexterity and my ability to draw a straight line. Well, as you just saw, I'm really good at that, so. Welcome, Squidling, to the Squid. I don't even pool. see pulled long pork. What the fuck? Let's go. Miss Turtles, 13 months in the pool. Over a year hanging out. You were the shiniest, Squidling. And we're outside. We have gotten to outside of the castle. There is the hedge mage now. Hedge mage. Hedge maze. I need to figure out how to turn on the fucking arcade. I want to play snack. Oh no. 
Oh no, it's literally just a hedge maze. Always go left. Left has failed us. But left did, but did it? Did left fail us? Or was this part of the plan all along? You saw chocolate milk zero, but that was diet chocolate milk. That's just less funny chocolate milk zero. I'm doing a maze. I feel mazed. Right? We're mazing. We're turning left. We're going with the NASCAR strategy. I'm starting to become increasingly concerned that this isn't a labyrinth. And if it's not a labyrinth, the NASCAR strategy doesn't work. It has to be a labyrinth. It's not a labyrinth. Well, shit. Well, then none of these could ever go anywhere because they're all going to be in the middle. Am I trying to get to the center? We went around the whole outside. These are all going to be contained within that area. Is the middle the goal? Oh, it's not a labyrinth. Oh, this is horrible. This is the worst. Oh no. All of my plans, all of my carefully honed strats have fallen by the wayside. This is a dead end. Because it's not a labyrinth. None of my shit works! And before the giant S. I don't know. I'm assuming if there... Oh, I'm hope, oh center. Okay, here we go. This, I was going to say, I'm hoping if there is something to find, I'll know it when we find it. This I need to touch all the things. No. Is this pretending? Hold on, I'm too forward. Is this pretending it's an actual labyrinth? And like I can't double back kind of thing? Oh my god, it is. That's why it's showing me the finalized line at the end. This is this is like a pseudo actual labyrinth. Poor Quay, would that not work? What do you want from me, you strange creature? What do you- what do you need? Is there a relevant order here? Okay, so that was trying- clearly trying to tell me that order matters. And, uh, I'd learned nothing. I learned nothing about order mattering. Ah! 
sure, okay. Oh my fucking god. All right, draw a long line. It's time for a long line. Is it number of points? It is number of points. As you can tell by the increasingly ridiculous shapes. It's number of corners. This is the manual dexterity test. I have absolutely fucking failed. Huh? What the f that just- it just started again? It didn't do anything! What does it want? What secrets do you hold? Is this? No, it's not literally the layout of Labyrinth, because it's not like this right now. There's no fucking way to be able to, like render that shit. Take it to one of our open ones and then leave it there. Okay. So what am I doing? That doesn't do anything. I can say with at least 35% confidence we've been through this entire maze. Which means by the transitive property, the maze doesn't do anything. I gotta figure out... How to turn on... What do we know about? What do we know exists right now? Unlocking this was like a big thing. I'm gonna go back up and look at the hedge maze and the ramparts just to see... Like, what... Is in there? That might be relevant? If anything? It's actually a really fucking long walk because it did not immediately lead upstairs. We have to go here. No, we're on the wrong. I can actually get to the side that looks at it because it needs this powered. Which goes back in the window. Oh, is this powered? Is this the source of power? I thought we had to turn this on. out of uh left here oh no i guess we need to go around the right on account of that's the way that's not going to be closed love with you i'm too lazy to go in there oh fuck me no fuck you please i'm snack Oh, thank God. We did snack. I was worried. 
I was worried I wasn't sure we were gonna complete Snack. I thought it might be beyond my means. Snack was too potent. Wow. Imagine you make a parody of a game. You gotta make sure that you take time to also shit on that guy's other games. This is the same guy, right? I'm pretty sure Braid and Witness are both made by the same dude. Let me just take a quick break to also crap on his other game. And then we'll move on with our lives. Okay, cool. Oh, we got a stocked fucking mini fridge. They got the Xbox 360 down there. Oh man, this is high school. This is high school right here. This is my fucking jam. All right, let's go. I'm great at this. Don't worry. Fucking unstoppable. I am an excellent shot. I'm a mastermind. They've called me a gun wizard. I am average at best. I'm I hope I'm not supposed to be getting these. Because I'm not good not. I'm not getting them. They're moving! I can't draw them when they're moving! It moves the pen! That's... I'm not gonna go for that one. Fuck, now when you're wasting your time. Okay, cool. We're good. I wasn't sure what exactly was gonna be necessary. It's timing of the dead. No, it's not. It's timing of the dead if your keyboard got up and moved around while you were trying to fucking type. That's what it is. Oh, it's the laser. Hold on. Open door, please. <laughs> That's a full loop. Aha! Okay. And the laser is for whatever is up here. That's the end. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got our fucking laser box, chat. Get stuck a little bit. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're not gonna do it again. You're not gonna do it again. Okay, no, the laser. Shoot. Oh. Oh, hold on. Now go up. Go up. Wait, what? What is that? What is it doing? Is that a tiny? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god. How long is this? Oh my god! Just... What? Still going. Still hold on, still going. Still going. Tap it just a little just tap it just the tiniest bit. <laughs> Alright, we're in there! We're in there, it's on! We got <laughs> 
There was no way we were getting through a parody of The Witness without the comically long laser opening animation. There was no fucking way. All right, solar panel is powered. Ooh. Good thing that I learned in the hedge maze how this puzzle works. You have two corners. You have three corners. Okay. You have four corners. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it. Damn it. Okay, oh, this is all right. This is actually a motherfucker. Hold on. This is a, this is an actual puzzle. They weren't gonna let you get away without at least one actual puzzle. Okay, we're here. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Now I gotta go. I gotta go in this way so I can go out this. Holy shit! Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's like the hedge. It's got to be contiguous. Am I gonna need that? I'm gonna need that to get out at the end, actually. We're gonna use as little space as possible. So we do that, and then we go through here. That won't actually matter. Because I have to get across. Because I have to get over to here. We're gonna come in, we're gonna go around this way. Touch this. Come in here, touch that. I don't know if I'm allowed to go through here again. It's gonna tell me to fuck off. That's okay, it's a learning experience. Touch that. Come back through here, hypothetically. We would go this way. We would do one of these. We would grab this. And we would go here. But that's not connected, and that's not connected, and that's not connected. So yeah, it is like the hedge. We actually have to do it right. Okay. Okay. So this is... Damn it, they're gonna make you do one. Man made a fucking parody and put one, like, real boy puzzle right at the end. So it's like the hedge maze. That's why it aligns you when you start using it automatically. It's like the hedge maze. But imagine there's, like, a hidden grid... And you can only touch each tile once. We can't double back on each other. We gotta touch moon. Then this. Then this. Then this. Then this. Then this. Then this. In that order. Please don't tell yourself like a man. I don't need John Madden. I can already draw on the screen. Um, so let's do a little bit of A, a little bit of B. This is the most direct way to the end. You two connecting is the problem. This is the the challenge is getting these two together. Theoretically, I can go in here, come back down this way. I can't. I was thinking I could cut up through here. I can't. You just have to do it. Like. I went through. Man, this is actually a bitch. What the fuck? This is supposed to be hard. Do 
we get any advantage from doing this? Does that provide us any benefit? As long as we stay down here in our fucking lane. We can go Zot. Almost. I think I can't use this side. I think I need to use that for this. But then how do I get that back? How do I connect you two? There's like one more channel left. took that at this point and went here. I have to connect these two to this. It's basically where we're at. How could I modify this that would let me connect both of these to this? Because I can connect one on account of that's how many pads I have available. don't know if this works, but it might. This one's actually a bitch. This is like, yeah, this is a fucking puzzle. I gotta think. We've just been memeing. So close. It's so close. If I do this, there's no way I can get back here. And there's no way, even if I took this line in, so like it was here instead. That doesn't help because it still fully encircles this. Oh, hey, man, chat. We're still, we're just, you know, fucking hella stuck. So I don't think this can ever be a part of the solution. I don't think that can ever be right. Unless I went around this way. If I have this go around this way. For the sake of argument. Fuck. How do we gain here? I can go zip. I feel like that's close. Okay, hold on. What if we... Hit him with one of these. Roll for order the collecting things. Number of corners. You gotta get him an order of number of corners. And then we give it the big ol' spin rooney I still think that's very likely correct. From here, so it's like two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a zillion. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Why do I just do backwards? Are these, I didn't really notice, honestly, I'm at a level with these kind of like curved inner corners. I'm not sure if those count. They probably do, but I just assumed this was five. Is this a seven and not a five? Is that why I'm getting fucked? Does the curved corners? I, I don't. I'm not sure what the exact rule is. We. Don't, I'm pretty. It's like corners or points or something. Um. 
This might be seven and not five. Which, if that's the case... Means we're, like... Throwing down one of these. Which means this is just... Like, exponentially easier than I've been trying to make it. Because I thought that was a five, and I'm not sure if the interior corners count. And it's not a seven. Because then all I have to do is this. That's, like, super easy. Is it a... It didn't work. I really do not know if it's a five or a seven. Only God has the answers. Let's try that one more time. Two? Are you the five? If these count, then these count. That would make this a five. Wasn't we used this as a three in the puzzle in the garden, didn't we? I think this is a five. I feel like we use this as a three in the garden puzzle. I might have to go back to the garden puzzle. Because I don't know the rules. I don't know the rules. I don't know which corners count. We didn't get it. We didn't learn a specific enough direction. Faster. That's there for this exact reason. That's there for this exact reason. Okay, we're gonna go back. Figure out for sure what the sequence is even supposed to be. This, this is already a nuisance. We're definitely not doing it if we don't even know what the combo is supposed to be. I gotta learn if interior corners count. Alright, give me this. Would like to learn. The book of puzzles, please. They even did the witnessy thing of having, like, the one actual mechanic in the game taught to you. Uh, okay, so then it's... I'm just gonna go straight to the last one. Okay. Yeah, interior corners don't count. Interior corners do not count. This is five. This is three. This is five. This is four. So it's zero. It's, well, I guess one. Outer edges, question mark. Two. Zero or one. Two. Is it sides? I don't know what the rule is specifically, but the point is I was doing it right the first time and then I fucking started second guessing myself. I had the order right in the first place. The thing we were doing the whole time was right, and then I got distracted, and I was overcome with self-doubt, and we ran all the way back to the garden just to confirm that we were, in fact, doing the right thing. It is what we were doing in the first place. God damn it. Random lack of self-confidence. I knew what I was about. I knew what I was about. Damn it, I feel like we, we were super close to a solution then. Okay, so it is... One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got back here and was immediately hit. 
by another way of, of crippling self-doubt. Right? Just one, two, three. It wasn't exactly the thing we were doing at first. Not enough space for tally marks on here, really. That's the order, right? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. It was absolutely... Fucking... I'm so dumb. I suppose I'll have to stop because my PC guy is standing there. Wait, what? You played this? When did you play this, sexy? You lookered? What if I go this way? And I do one of these? Then I go this way. And I do one of these. And then we're totally stuck because I'm stupid. What if I go this way? Scribbly, scribbly, scribbly. I can draw good. bucket so they got space for activities I don't know what the fuck I'm doing right now I'm just drawing lines because it's fun um you and then I'm really just going in a random order at this point I forgot everything the knowledge instantly left my head we're going back to the garden we're going back to the garden. The knowledge instantly, like, grew legs, got up, and walked out of my mind. As soon as I got back to the actual puzzle. It got up, and it straight up left. God damn it. I'm screenshotting the book. Pastor Seth Flay said take notes in the book. He's done when they came back here. I'm screenshotting the book. It's literally... The order, I'm confident it's the first ever order we were trying to do. It was the initial order. The first thing we sat down and tried to puzzle out was correct, but now I have overthought it too severely and I can never return to that peaceful equilibrium because it's gone forever. It can never be reclaimed. Okay, here is the order. It will sit over here because I am very dumb. All I had to do was not doubt myself. I'm pretty sure we were pretty close to the solution. Again, we were right there when I started questioning if my order was correct. And now that I ruined my, it ruined me psychologically forever. At least they gave us this gate. They gave us this gate for a reason. This was playtested at least once by a person other than the guy making the admittedly extremely high effort shitpost. This game is an extremely high effort shitpost. It's a glorious shitpost. Okay. So, it's moon... It was not the initial order. It's moon, triangle, flower, with the two I had backwards. It's moon into triangle, into flower, into hourglass, into uh, into things. But it goes bing, bing, wong. The question is, how do we set this up so that I can go wong? Why is it just like this? Yes. Scribble. Can I do a scribble? I'm still looking at the book. I'm just making sure I'm not stupid. 
Okay, we did not have it right. We had the uh, the first two flips. The good news is, once you're there, it's not hard. Very straightforward from that point. This is it. Oh, that's black. That's black. This is the fucking puzzle. Holy, okay, hold on. Holy shit. First of all, you have these bridges. The fact that the pavilion is black and white so it can come across to here. That one book Laying on a square, which lets you draw across the king to get to the shield, so you can get across the pavilion. There's... Oh, there's leaves here. Can't go up that. This pile of crap, which leads to this wall. It goes to the E, and something somewhere is not connected. I don't know what part of this isn't connected. Oh. No? This isn't famous. This isn't famous. <laughs> this is the penisiest penis. <laughs> is this just the end? Is there no... Is this it? Is this literally how the game ends? Like, this puzzle... I would believe that this puzzle does not resolve and this is just the end of the game. It's just... You draw a penis. Is this it? Does this puzzle actually resolve? Or is it just that draw a penis? Puzzle is solvable. The obelisk. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. The stone. I hate this fucking game. <laughs> oh wait, it's a giant cop. That's, uh, that's the looker. <laughs> it was beautiful. An absolute masterpiece. God damn it. This is maybe the highest effort dick joke I've ever seen. This is, this is absolutely the highest effort dick joke I've ever seen in my life. That was a masterpiece. I don't even know, like, where to begin on mentally processing whatever the fuck this was. 
cunning plan by Kongus Bongus. This is a high effort ship post, man. This is a super high effort shit post. These are the kind of memes I want to see in the world. That's an incredible fucking meme. I think it's someone didn't like the witness very much. I don't know, I can't tell if they like the witness very didn't like the witness very much or they like the witness a whole lot. Some kind of whiz with a computers. Good stack of pennies. I would never hurt you. Let's see. Easy one. Right. How's this? Nerd shit. Nerd shit. Now that's a book. <laughs> ah, Here's one more puzzle banana peel on this floor. <laughs> and it closed itself. Oh, that, that is the looker, I suppose. It literally closes the fucking game. <laughs> That's me closing the sniffing tool. I'm glad we played this. I'm glad we had this experience, chat. I'm glad that we all came together to play the looker. That was a game. That was a game. I really want to know what the witness did to this man. The game closed, so your background was changed to an SE puzzle. I'd be mad. I would be fucking impressed, man. If it changed my fucking Windows desktop background to a shitty puzzle, that'd be amazing. I missed most of it, but I showed up with a penis. And in the end, isn't that what matters? It is, Mancha. It's all about the penis, right? This is one of the games of all time. I'm gonna take a break. I must be some kind of high IQ genius because the store page said this game was two hours long and we beat it in about uh, 90 minutes. So I do have a pretty high IQ, people have said. Uh, before we bail out, by the way, it's worth one little bit of meme here. And that is Steam store page is even a fucking dumpster fire and it's beautiful. Approximately two hour playing uh, duration, unique challenges, ponderous ideas, and feebly amusing in jokes. The Looker is a single-player game that respects you as an intelligent player, and it treats your time as reasonably valuable. As such, I'm a level with you here. Not every joke's gonna be a hit. There's no fill of material. Puzzles are fun. And if you really think about it, aren't the real solutions the uh, friends we made along the way? Man's even shitposting us on fucking Steam Store page. I'm gonna stand up, stretch my legs. Thanks for hanging out, chat. If you're lurking, if you're hanging out in the chat, want to help out a little bit, drop an emote in here. It's coffee time. Posting absolutely anything makes Twitch count. He's an active viewer. That really helps out with the Twitch algorithm. It's the good shit. And those of you that are on coffee, those of you for whom coffee time exists, thank you guys for your direct support to the channel. 100% 
of any money going into coffee comes directly here. Coffee does not take anything. Jeff Bezos does not take half of it like he does for Twitch subs. It is 100% throughput. I literally don't know how they stay in business, but they are fucking wonderful. BRB, everybody. Nobody is born cool, except, of course. <laughs>
for... Oh, no witnesses. No, no one can talk about this. Um, okay. So there's an animation for just straight up Gallaghering somebody who's asleep. Um, Elf and Elf is more philosophical, of course. Political, dare I say it. He wrote an entire dissertation on how much he missed his slaves after Old uh, outlawed the practice. Controversial subject, to say the least. <laughs> well, the bad news is that we peaked, lads. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna do better than that. <laughs> that shit was fucking hilarious. God damn. The world would be a better place if we had more. God damn it, I should have. I haven't played since yesterday, so I haven't moved. This is dangerous. I can't be here. I need to go to literally anywhere else. I can't be here. I this is a this is a risk. I can't be a Damonheim. If I'm in Damonheim, we're gonna dungeon here for fucking four more hours. Like I can't be here. We gotta go. I gotta go anywhere else. Get me out of this place. Uh the world had more shit posts and memes. Of the tear of the looker. Maybe we would already have achieved world peace. Maybe we would have all set aside our differences, become greater people, learned and grown. As lookers. The real lesson is there's nothing wrong with the dick joke. It's low effort dick jokes that are the problem. It's the same with all things. You can absolutely, like that entire game is just a shit post. The whole game is a shit post. Hey, we're almost to level a thousand. Yay! We're almost a thousand! I'm a, I'm a real boy. Okay. Last time on this shit, we discovered this menu. Which is an interesting menu. We were trying to do these. One of them requires me to go to the wilderness for one tick, but who knows? And one of them I'm afraid of. I'll push that button later. That button scares me. What do we even get for this? Damonheim easy. Time crab override. Choose start of a dungeon which boss you encounter once per day. Secondary ring roll. I don't even know what that means. What is a ring roll? Like customized? Don't. Don't. No. We'll figure it out later. No, this is. I can't go back. This is dangerous. I can't go back. Don't you tempt me, Satan. Don't fucking tempt me! Uh, the most important question. Okay, so they are straight up the diaries. There is still, like, the arty cloak that teleports you to the monastery, which is way less valuable in a world with lodestones. But it's still cool. Improved rate of success when stealing from stalls in East Ardwain's market. What does that mean? You can't fail to steal from a stall. What does that mean? There's not a die roll. That's just like a thing that happens automatically. Are any of these like just really close? God, my shorts are I'm declaring war on my fucking looker. Um, halfway through beginner lumbridge. Otherwise, no. <laughs> they all have all a bunch of weird shit. Hey, maybe it's like still better stuff or something. Uh, which ones are new? Which ones are new and possibly interesting? Sears Village. Oh, that's the, that's just, I don't think it's, it's, it's just, it's not called that. What's this? This is the same, that's the Kandarin headgear. I think it's just called Kandarin. Turanwin, Turanwin's new. I obviously can't get there. 
So it's actually only Turanwen. Turanwen has its own thing now. Right, because Sears Village and Turanwen are lumped together in old school and it's called Kandarin. And then there's like whatever the Arduin and Neil tasks are that give you this. It's not even Sears. Sears is actually part of this. And then there's like Western Provinces. This is Kandarin. Arduin set tasks is Kandarin with Sears Village. And there's like Western Provinces. Which is like the gnome shit. And Turanwin. So what is this? Access to an... Uh, obviously we can't go there. I'm just curious because it's new. Access to an elf who can sell your limestone. 5% damage against mourners. 15 free swamp tar per day from the general store. It's a quiver. Pass through leaf traps successfully as the chime for warp creatures in the poison waste dungeon. Grants access to a shortcut deeper in the poison waste dungeon. 5% chance to shells being noted. Ability to teleport to Letya and to Eluned, wherever she is in the fort. You motherfuckers just gonna teleport to Eluned on your easy diary? This is bullshit. This is bullshit? This is bullshit and I'm upset. You don't have to go wander around Taronwyn for 20 minutes trying to fucking find Eluned. You just get to boink to her? This is bullshit. How easy is the easy diary? Well, it involves being in Taronwyn, so it's probably not easy. Uh, I am also curious, though. Let's look. Kill a disciple of Ivan. Okay, that's... Oh, yeah. Pro reach like, need to get back to Ivan's temple. Never get the underground past. This is just have 50 thieving. Have... That's the, from me just said you get that. I don't know what that is. It's a Tyrone Lodestone. Iris on the Tyrus camp. Mine limestone. Pass a leaf trap. Go for to a fairy ring. Get to find her on your own at least once. Kill a shadow in the temple of light with a shadow spell. Let's just need desert treasure. Uh, this doesn't doesn't seem hard. It seems pretty easy. It, it do, in fact, seem like an easy diary. <laughs> Maybe we should just go down the board? I don't know. What rewards are super useful? There was the Explorer's Ring. Which is never awful. 10% chance per essence of receiving extra elemental runes from runecrafting. Hold on. What the... What the... What? Pump the fucking brakes. Excuse me? The Explorer's Ring just gives you 10% more runecrafting? At, at easy? That seems decent. The double smelting thing, which seems like it matters way fucking less than this. You can teleport to the Grand Exchange on the Easy Diary instead of, what is it, the fucking hard? Okay. Yep, that's the shield that gives you prayer. Daily bag of lost and found items for a rug merchant. Sparkly dung calphites drop double loot. You have to do less mage training arena. Wow. Can we just take this one? Can we just take that? I'm pretty sure everyone would be okay with throwing out the entire rest of the desert amulet to just get you have to do slightly less mage training arena. And I hate mage training arena way less than most people. Mauritania. You get your double fungus on easy? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's going on in RuneScape 3? This is bullshit. Who just hands you a sack of pineapples? Oh, it's your cheap. Okay, that one's fucking useless. This is light. Two logs and cutting a normal tree. Contact the FOSS agreement at a distance. Recharge your liar with one fewer charge. Cool. This is the teleporty cape. Um, and what is the wilderness one do here? I'd like to locate the wildy arm of the wilderness or this one's found the world. Weird. Okay, so... Well, on the one hand, on my reaction to half of these is, holy shit, that's amazing. None of these seem that immediately valuable. You know? I Should we just... But it's direction. Like, direction's good. Let's just try and slap some diaries here. Where is beginner Lumby? Let's knock all this shit out. How hard can this be? 
Climb to the highest point in Lumbridge. Itch. Also, just literally talk to fucking everybody in Lumbridge. Okay. I can do that. I can click on some NPCs. That's true. I mean, uh, XP lamps aren't bad. And a thousand summoning XP is a chunk. That's still like a level for everyone we do. It's probably the most effective way we have to train summoning. Hello, guy who toggles the warnings. Thank you. Assuming, yeah, I assumed Lumbridge Sage was just guide. Thank you. Nothing. Have a nice day. I just wanted that achievement. Uh, we'll go up top. Also, just easy diaries. You can't expect too much. There's a lot of stuff. I don't know. There's a couple of easy diaries in old school that are ridiculously valuable. The one that immediately comes to mind is the arty one. That shit's insane. Actually nuts. Because it's one of the only teleports you can do early game. And you have lodestones in this one. And the highest point in Lumbridge. And then click on the only thing that's up there. Do achievement. What else was there? We're fucking slapping them out. We're doing good. Find some flower to Lumbridge. How have I not done that? I did Cook's Assistant. I did Cook's Assistant. How have I not done that? Okay, at the Lumbridge Church, there was a bell and an organ. We have to click on both of those and talk to Father Eric. Sell a raw shrimp to Lumbridge's fishing shop because they have one of those now. Play rocks northwest of the Lumby Flower Mill. Okay, let's go downstairs, get the stuff for flower. I think we can just kind of zoot our way towards Drain Ore and do all this really easily. And then we'll just start banging easy diaries, I guess. It'll give us uh, stat goals, if nothing else. That's true. Cook's assistant has legally not flower now. You're right. It was extra fine flower, which is different. It does not count. I clearly have not learned how to make fire. That wasn't the point of the quest. flower. That wasn't the point of the quest at all. Okay. Touch organ. Which is a whole ass cutscene. What is this Banjo-Kazooie shit? It was almost synced up to the sound. The, that animation was within like one second of being synced up to the sound the cutscene had. You can't just touch some guys working on stream. Sir, I just streamed all of the looker. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Still wild, the looker was a game. You ring the church bell, confusing the citizens of Lumbridge. <laughs> Sorry, the book told me to do it. It's important to me. First bell of awakening. Where are the gargoyles? Need a shrimp? Because I gotta sell it to the fishing shop. Oh, this is neat. This, like, symbol of Sarah Doman on the floor from what I assume is staying the stained glass window somewhere. Yeah. We gotta talk to the town crier before we leave. Grab this shrimp, Which I assume we're gonna catch shrimp and not crayfish. We are, because I got shrimp here. And I had a stack of shrimp until I finally managed to get rid of them. Shrimp me? That's not a shrimp. Fucking tell me how to do my job, you little bitch. Cass, can you be worse at fishing? I need you to be a little worse at fishing. I know we're like... Thank you. 50 or whatever now, but can you like turn that shit down? Forbidden tech. Uh, where is the town crier? Looking like a successful not dungeoneering for four hours. We're doing it. I think as much as I would love to sit here and dungeoneer for four hours... And I would absolutely sit here and dungeon here for four hours. We need to do literally anything else. Where's the town crier? Oh, it's town crier was in Draenor. Uh, where's the fishing store? Fishing store is over there. 
forgetting anything? Father Eric's selection of gravestones. I felt like I was forgetting a thing. Yes, Badings, are you important? Not at the moment. I do need to reply to those, though. Just figured out how to actually dungeoneer, as far as you know. I figured out how to what feels like fucking skip dungeoneering by just starting with all of the best possible weapons. Ah. There's no appears when you die. Oh, it's a good thing we did... Wrestle's Ghost, because apparently that was mandatory to get to this. I can have a signpost. Oh, you start with the signpost. Wait, they have stats? But I like the signpost. No, but the signpost is funnier. I don't think this matters, and I... We're a hardcore. I'll worry about this later. Right now, I'm kind of working on the not dying thing. Okay. Fishing shop, town crying, drain or mill clay. Yep, we're, we're on our way. We're on our way, lads. We're doing the thing. We're gonna get the stuff. Super cool they put a fishing shop in here. That makes this way less annoying. Hello, can I just you and... Me trying to figure out how to sell this for literally one GP. Mercrimbus. Mill that way. Were there always a shit zillion yew trees right here? This has always been there. Am I insane? I feel like I don't recall those. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think there was a there like there are used in the free to play area, but there's no, not here. I don't think. Use your weed from the inventory on the hopper. Hey, instead of having a unique interaction where you pop up a dialogue box that says "Use your weed from the inventory on the hopper," why don't you just put my weed in the hopper? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. Why don't you just skip that and do the thing that you obviously know that I want to do because you're telling me to do it? Could have gathered all the U-trees in the forest through the giant crater. That's true. I guess they were scattered out over there. Okay, clay. I'm forgetting one of them. Nope, there's only one left. I thought I was I was just... I wasn't forgetting... What the fuck is this? Chaotic energy sparks from the crater. As you approach, visions of a rift and a strange face flash through your mind. I feel like I should not click on this. Because that sounds like it's... Possibly like whole ass cutscenes of stuff that... Is not knowledge I should possess yet. So we'll just... Leave that there! For later. Not going anywhere. Or town crier. Town crier. No, town crier. Talk about the battlefield. Talk about something else. Talk about the rules of RuneScape. You have completed Lumbridge set tasks beginner. Okay. Quick enough. Easy enough. We take those. Lumbridge set tasks easy. Create a clay ring. Let's see. I can't hear dead people. Zombie in the sewers under jailhouse. Wise old man's watching through his telescope. Wise old man, wise old man. Help with the rest of mine. Haunt the demon of the wizard's tower. To replace my amulet, go, go speak. Cook some rat meat on a campfire in Lumbee Swamp. Catch a pike in the river east of Lumbee Castle. Mine iron ore southwest of Lumbridge Swamp. Sell a clay ring to Morgan and Draenor Village. Have a clay ring ble blessed? Why are there three of these that are about making a fucking clay ring? Okay, well, I'm going to do the clay ring saga because that seems like it's four steps and they're all extremely specific. 
I want to make sure I complete the clay ring saga in the correct order. How about the fucking clay rings? I don't know how many clay it's going to take. It can't be more than like... It's probably one. It definitely isn't going to be more than like five. I'm just going to get five. I'm going to get four because I got four and then got lazy. And remember, there's one on the ground back here, which is definitely part of my plan. And I didn't see that halfway through this sentence. Uh, so there's my five. Also, you're supposed to know you can even make a clay ring. I mean, that's accurate. Again, about half of all knowledge I've ever learned about RuneScape was from either... League tasks or diary tasks. It's one of the only ways the game has to tell the player literally fucking anything. Um, archaeology collection. No, I want you. No, I'm not telling you fucking archaeology collection! I want you to clean up my bank, please. Because this is also a task. Uh, check my things for junk. My bank for junk, please. Yeah, I don't... Well... Oh. It tells you... With fairly specific text why you don't need these anymore. Which is... Bullshit. But it's interesting that the... Divi uh, divination and the other one outfits... It's interesting that those go to Diango. That's the diviner outfit, right? That's the plus divination XP scaling suit that just goes to Diango. That's interesting. I learned in old school RuneScape not to trust you because you're going to throw out items that are going to take me 20 fucking minutes to get back. Um, and then I'm going to need them for the next step of whatever quest they came from because your service is dog shit. Looking at the wizard's tower. Okay. He's looking at the wizard's tower. I see you're looking at the wizard's tower, and also your telescope can somehow see through the walls. Oh. Well, does that interest you? A little weird. Weird! Nothing weird about a fascination with the magical arts. Besides, the architecture of that tower is remarkable. You want to study such things? Yeah, I'm going to attack the tower. I'm like 97 years old, you stupid bitch. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why that would be the immediate conclusion I come to. Imagine a world where somebody shows you their cool telescope and they're like, man, look at this. From here, I can see the wizard's tower. We can, we can get a look at this like super interesting building off, not really in the distance, I suppose. It's way closer than I thought it was. I'm going to drop this line of thought. My line of thought was going to be, look at this really cool, like, world wonder monument we can see through the telescope from here. And someone's like, are you planning to rob that? What you, that's the dumbest statement anyone's ever said to me. No, also shut up and get out of my house. But it is literally right there. So, um, mildly more suspicious. Yeah. What are you planning on fighting the sun? I guess I'm probably not looking at the sun in a telescope. You gonna go punch the moon? Moon's haunted. What? Moon's haunted. You wanna come? I got another gun. <laughs> okay, create a clay ring using the Draenor Village pottery oven. I assume that's what this icon is. Then I have to have the ring blessed by Father Eric. And while we're over there, I have to do like a bunch of stuff. A ring on the potter's bill. Oh. 
these these things these things what are they how do i make a ring None of these are, wait. I banked on my clay. But like, where's the ring anyway? Like regardless of the fact that I banked my clay like an idiot because I got really distracted by the wizard's tower line of thought. Where is the ring? Okay, you can fire it. But there are only five options. Okay, so this easy diary is impossible. Um, that's useful. That saves me some some time. I'd rather know this is impossible now rather than like 21 steps later. I want to figure out what these little pots do because I've seen those pop up 50 bazillion times. I'll be getting random bullshit urns. And that was before I realized that every menu in RuneScape 3 was 61 menus taped together. Through like an abyssal nexus of random drop downs and configuration tabs. And didn't realize that the pottery menu was actually seven menus in any other game that are just all stapled together. Now I know that. So I have my stuff. Is it just mold? Do I just do it with my hands? Oh, you just use a ring mold. Okay. Not impossible. It can be done. You just do it with your hands. I have a clay ring now. I have it blessed by a priest. Okay, so let's go with, I don't know, farming urns. Make a farming urn. And then let's make a, it's not even a smithing urn, it's a smelting urn. Okay, so what do I do with these? I need to fire us in the pottery oven. Okay, fair enough. Add nature rune. Add fire rune. Well, what does it do? Yeah, it's amazing. Like, as much as I'm memeing, because this game, compared to basically anything else, is still like an unparsable pile of eldritch wisdom. It's amazing how much of the game you're allowed to play when the game will tell you how to play. Okay, I have runes. Collect crop cuttings when I gather yields requiring farming level 30 or below. The fuck does that mean? Collect metal scraps from smelting bars at or below smithing 50. What the fuck does that mean? What are these? What are these fucking urns? So, the thing I'm noticing in common between these is that both urns appear to give you a secondary item. Is it smithing or smelting? Smelting bars at or below smithing level 50. Okay. We can... Possibly go smelt some adamantite? I might still have some to smelt. 
that make crafting do something other than the diary skill? Uh, excuse me, sir. Crafting makes, like, three very important pieces of jewelry and nothing else. Is there a humble bundle link? Yeah, there's probably even a command for it. It's either humble or I'm so fucking good at stuff. I guessed it immediately. I was fully prepared to make, like, seven guesses uh, at what the hell the humble bundle link was going to be. Okay, so I'm gonna smell. I got. Okay, so they're going into the urn. I thought it was gonna be like a separate item. To like one percent per thing. Oh, it's the one went away. It confused me. I'm very easily confused. It's less than 1%. Okay, so we're filling an urn. So this is a bonus thing. Start a new smelting urn. This is some kind of bonus object. I don't know what it does. But it's, it's just filling automagically. Does it fill equally quickly if I do Metro? It seems like it's kind of, it's definitely a little slower. All right, so the higher tier thing I'm smelting, the faster this is gonna go. My smelting urn is a quarter full. Okay, it's getting messages. What's it gonna do? I wanna know what it does, but I have to fill the entire thing up to know what it does, and that's not gonna be fast. Like that's That's gonna take a bit. That's very not gonna be fast. That's like very not gonna Smoly be Smoly just purchased deck builder bundle for $15. I thank you, Unctina. I assume your smoldyage. Like a little over a third of the way there. Well, fuck my fuck. Um. Damn it, I wanna know. I wanna know what it does. God damn it. But they're very slow. Well, it's not that they're very slow. It's actually, it's relatively quick. It's the problem is I'm gonna run out of stuff like immediately. Speed is the issue. I'm gonna put this where things go to die. I guess they're really good bank tab placeholders. A fast one to fill. I don't think any of them is going to be fast. I could get one that's on like a gathering skill. Because there was like fishing and cooking urns. Question. Ultimate cheese. Damn it. I didn't think it would. But it would have been great if it did. I'm not. I don't care enough to walk over there and put him in the pile. 
damn it. It would have been a masterwork if it would have functioned. All right, I guess we'll figure this out later. This is going to be like a long-term diversion. This is not going to be something that is fast. We are going to be distracted and diverted for a significant period of time if I commit any harder than that to trying to fill up an urn. Let's see what it does. I want to know so bad. I want to know so bad. Bless my Ringus. Subscribe. Simple set down my ring signet. And now it is dedicated to Sarah Delman. And still doesn't have any stats. Okay, well, then I'm gonna sell it to the guy is the next thing. I had to forget about him for like three months. Wonder what they are when we see him at the bank later. You ready? I'm ready. I'm also ready. Okay, uh, let's see. Pike in the river. Oh, I gotta yeet my ghost beak amulet. Ghost beak amulet's gotta go in the trash so I can get a new one. I can't keep track of like more than one thing at a time because my brain is tiny. Just so tiny. Let's be amulet. Four. Did they really just make it a diary test because putting a pop-up warning that if you lose this, you can speak to Father Ernie to get another was required too much spaghetti fighting. I need feathers. And a fly fishing rod. Do I have a fly Welcome, rod? squidling, to the squiddy pool. I do, yes. I think you, everyone just has one of those. Oh my god, it Max! finally happened. I've been on and off for so long, Bro! but I'm now a one-year-old baby. One-year-old baby. I, I set up a little something for you uh, to celebrate this momentous occasion. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, I think. I hope you enjoy it, Max Pro. One year, 12 months in the pool, your first squid anniversary. We got you this nice, fancy rainbow squid hat to wear. Thank you for the support. Hope you're having fun, my friend. Mike Stanley makes the scene worse. Everything makes that scene worse. It's gotten worse like five times. Every time I go back to it, it just gets more shittier. Now it's extra special worse, like by comparison. Fish with red feathers or a spaghetti. Because we have the Bryn versions of all the other scenes. So, well, the other scenes are really fucking good. And that one is that shit. I think I need bait. I need bait. Yeah, this is just gonna do salmon and trout. Right? Did you always catch salmon and trout right here? I'm on a level with you. I straight up didn't know that you could catch salmon and trout somewhere that was a barbarian village. Oh, here's all my feathers, too. Found them. I found the feathers, guys. And another tab. I feel like you should catch fish faster with colored feathers. You get more attention. They're more visible, right? You're going to get the... You're gonna get more excitable fish. The fish are gonna be more enthused. Hike me. Or don't. I'm not your real dad. Thank you. I don't really want this doo doo garbage. I'm curious if these guys can die. A couple times I've come down here and I've seen one of those Lumbridge guards, like, pretty low on health. They've definitely gotten the shit kicked out of them. By the gobbity boys. And I kind of wonder if they can lose. It'd be funny, if nothing else. Oh, my fucking bag. 
I'm sitting up. What do I have to do? I'm sitting up. I swear to you, I'm sitting up. It's not enough up, I guess. All right, it'll be red though. Slightly off skews the camera. That's a good idea. It's been a minute since we've made this shittier. That's a really good one. What if I put it like... Like, want to give it one of those? Give it one of those that we that we're looking for. Like a two degree. Just a little bit of a skew. A little bit of a two degree tilter. You know what else we could do while we're in here? Fuck up the ass I think it'd be funnier the other way. Like this. Fuck up the aspect ratio a little bit. I don't even think that's gonna be immediately obvious to somebody that that's wrong. You can't fuck the color balance in a scene specifically, right? I can, but I would have to set up like a secondary scene to hold it. Daily challenge updated. Basic wood cutting, one of four. Well, I guess I can catch cut three more trees. I wasn't gonna, but I don't know what a daily challenge is. I'm feeling challenged. They're challenging me. They don't think I can click on four trees without losing focus. Reward for the challenges tab in your adventures interface. I don't know what that means, so adventures is this one. <laughs> Beautiful. Wonderful. That's the runescapest thing I've ever seen in my life. Forgot to get the ghost speaking the back. That is that is the most one of the most runescape things that's ever happened to me. Congratulations, you completed the challenge. Claim your reward from the uh adventure interface. Reward nothing. Okay, runescape. I mean, you gotta give him credit. That's pretty runescape. Hi, I lost. Was it not you? Was it the other guy? Oh, Father Ernie. It was the other guy. I was, I was going the right way. I was going the right way. Oh, not Iron Men get shit for it. Then why does it even pop up for Iron Men? Why even, why even say anything to me? You can take the time to code any amount of reward out of it. You can take the time to code, you know, it bothering me out of it. Oh, hello. I lost my ghost speak amulet. Things aren't easy to come by. This is man who is definitely going to give me more of these in the future. Okay, I need to go mine an iron out of over here. What is this shit? This is a mini game? This has the red star of mini game upon it? Easy. Uh, Demon and Cedridor. So big and fancy. Shattered Worlds Portal. You have a bank. You have an Abyssal Knight Quartermaster. Is this like Pest Control 2? You buy things with Amina. Can be stacked with normal. Oh, that's just a lot of. Is the Slayer based game? Ok. 
increase of Slayer gains by 10% for 30 seconds. Causes mobs in Kerbadal's dungeon to instantly respawn for 30 seconds. Ah. I feel like I've seen a couple of these things. We definitely saw something before that was makes everybody hate you and punch you in the face. Because I we went on a thing about how awesome that was. Okay. What is it, though? Hello, hey, well met, adventure. Have you come to do battle against the Shattered Worlds? I don't fucking know. Yeah, I haven't entered the worlds before. That's fair. I'll tell you what it is. The worlds are full of unpredictable horrors. Oh, well, you have a nice day, sir. Access to standard Shattered Worlds. Use the blue portal. My knights will need you to complete a specific objective on each world to help them gain control of it. Once you complete the objective, find the exit portal to the next world. Occasionally, you'll find extra objectives in a world. You're not required to do these, but you'll be rewarded if you do. As you climb through the worlds, the creatures they contain will get exponentially more powerful. You may find you can progress no further without increasing your power. My knights notice you moving through worlds quickly enough. They'll allow you to skip some to put your skills to use for their most needed. Venturing to a new world can trigger a mutator that applies strange effects. I mean, this is actually just a rogue. How many roguelikes are there in Readscape 3? This happens you have a choice between three mutators. Some are good, some are whatever. The monster affected by mutators will be marked by our squires, the skull. Five worlds, you get the respite of a chest world, which gives you some bonus anima. Next, the checkpoint resets your mutators. Once a week, there's a chance of a powerful challenge world spawning. You can attempt these with the red portal. The large sums of anima by completing these. Pointer Master can reward you for any anima you collect on your journeys through the worlds. Do you have Is This a Safe Death as an option that I can ask you? Because this sounds like you just go until you die. Which would seem to me that it's probably safe because that seems like it's the point of the mini game is just to go until you cannot go any further but i'm not sure yeah butt wiener i mean like i don't you can tell me because i'm just not gonna go in there if it's not a safe death so like butt wiener because i'm just not gonna interact with the content if it's not a safe death not yet are they making it a safe death but it just isn't at the moment. I generally assume many games are. On account of their mini games. Like he says safe, but not Renscape 3 player. I'm sure it's safe. I'm sure it is. It's a mini game. It'd be so fucking weird to not be. Now, right, welcome back to this. The mini game again that seems predicated around you going as far as you can until you die. And it's not made by the old school RuneScape devs who have tagged quite a few mini games with This is a safe death, unless specifically you're a hardcore Iron Man, in which case you lose your status, but in every other way it's a safe death. You don't die, you don't go anywhere, you don't lose anything, you don't respawn in Lumbridge. Uh, the mini game is just over. But if you're a hardcore Iron Man specifically, you lose everything and commit seppuku. Which they just really love to do for some reason I'm a little unclear on. these two? I guess in old school, they just assume if you picked hardcore Iron Man, you just didn't want to have fun. So they went ahead and helped you. By making sure that you were basically unable to have fun. <laughs> Morgan's the Vampire Slayer guy. Yeah. Why am I... Anything else I can do for you? Different skills of craft area. Clay rings be blessed to defend against foes. Buy as many as you can divide. As many as you can provide. Here's a clay ring. You want an unblessed... If you have the time and some skill as a crafter, I hear one can have clay rings blessed to defend against foes. I could do with some of those. I'll buy as many as you can you can provide. Oh, well, fantastic. Good news. I have a ring of devotion blessed, blessed by Father Eric and Lumbridge. Uh, 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 
Blessed by who? No, bring me an unblessed one. I'll figure it out myself. Get out of my house. Okay. You know, I had the thought. Like 10 to 15 minutes ago. I had the thought. What if you have to make two clay rings? Because I thought it was just going to be a shop. Because what's in the shop is clay rings and not rings of devotion. And then I thought to myself, that would be stupid. This is clearly like a sequence of events that you're doing. That would be so dumb. So I didn't even say the thought. I didn't even say it out loud. Because it was so unbelievably unlikely that there was just no way. And then I remembered we're playing RuneScape. Where the dumbest thing you can imagine is the actual status quo for the entire game. This game was forged in the dumbest thing you can imagine. And had like 20 years to continue developing even dumber things. One ring. Yeah, I have no idea how much money you paid me. I wanted to sell you one. And I'll just throw this one on the floor here as a present. I can keep the change, you filthy animal. I thought it would, like, tell me how many gold it was. Okay, let's go. Down the hole. Chat box? Is in the chat box? Ten dollars. Dude, nobody looks in the chat box. I look in the prompt that you popped up on the screen. I win. Thank you. That guy has 500 coins. You don't think you have to time him out. We were all doing a perfectly fine job of ignoring the man. Arcadis, it's chat engagement. Come on. I guess he's already in the active viewer file. It's chat engagement. We're all doing a great job of ignoring whatever that was. And my Twitch stats were getting boosted for free. Because he was chatting. Scan to your price? I don't fucking know. If it was a scam, I guess, then yeah, time out. But I just kind of assumed it was like... I mean, it's RuneScape. Honestly, there's, there's like a point with scams and you're playing RuneScape that if you can't shield yourself from the simplest possible scams, RuneScape's probably not the game for you, you know? Like, it's just an inevitability. You're gonna lose all your shit. Taunt lesser demon. Why is that an option? Why do you even have the option to just bully this guy? That's rude. I mean, he's a demon, but that's rude. Someone tries to talk to you, it's a scam the game. Yeah, if there's, there's several situations in which you can be almost 100% certain that someone's trying to... Anybody who tries to make contact with you is scamming you. If anyone tries to talk to you on RuneScape... Actually says the incantation. If anyone tries to talk to you on RuneScape, if anyone tries to talk to you on Discord that is not already on your friends list, if anyone tries to talk to you on probably any Mamorpaga, I don't think it has to be explicitly RuneScape. I think any non-Final Fantasy XIV MMO, if anyone you don't know tries to talk to you, it's a scam. Anyone ever messaged you on Discord you don't know, it's a scam. Any number you don't know sends you a text message. It's a scam. Like, there's a point where that just became a life skill. Like, it's it's unfortunate that, you know, this is the world we live in. It is fucking unfortunate. Swore Jack and Lumbridge and Bob the XL are in Lumbridge. Two different people. But you just... Have a right click to lumbers. You can't. 
like shelter everybody all the time because scam avoidance is, is a necessary skill to live a normal life in 2022 and all walks of life runescape's great practice at it because you know again literally fucking everybody that ever talks to you in runescape is a scammer uh i don't know who the fuck square jack is Horror Jack. You're just some people. Horror Jack. Are you in Bob's house? Victoria? She got a name. That's the first Horror Jack. Virginia. Bob. I know Bob. Age. Random guy. Musician. Doomsayer. Black the Burr. Which is a name someone made up on purpose. Donnie. Harold. Cool Leprechaun. Harvey Bill. Poor guy. Samuel LeBeau. Explorer Jack! He's over here. I don't think I've ever been in this building, actually. From all those letters I get in the mail every couple- uh, every day of people offering to buy my house. Uh, yes. I guess you can just kind of add the physical mailbox to that, too, at this point. Do you have a quest? I want my- I probably need to put these in the bag first. On account of I'm gonna need inventory space, I assume. Boink. There we go. Let's talk to Alley Crackhead. Do you want to talk to Alley Crackhead? I finished all the beginner tasks in the Lumbridge set. Give me a reward. Having completed the beginner task, you can grab the ability to use the Explorer mode to show to your friends. Here's an Explorer's Ring. Uh, it has magical properties, giving you a small but useful boost to your magic and your... <laughs> Useful. Just use some run energy back. Make sure three sections. The first three sections you complete, you'll get an extra charge. So when you get to the medium level, you have three charges. They run out the rings recharged by the sun each day. It's solar powered. You can have this old magical lamp. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Peak lamp. Summoning. I don't know. I feel like summoning's not as bad as it were. They both seem like they're really bad. Like, uh, a full... Full disclosure. They both seem like they're fucking awful. I don't know what the lamp anymore. Because RuneScape 3 feels like it added a second skill that is just as bad as it were. I guess for now I should be putting the flat lamps into herb lore, cause, but like it's just so hard to get herbs, dude. And it never gets easier. I mean, maybe it does in RuneScape 3 is the thing. Maybe in RuneScape 3 it does get easier. But old school, it never gets easier to get herbs. You never, like, uh, that aren't irrit leaf. I guess you get to a point where you have functionally fucking infinite irrit leaf if you bother to farm them. Uh, task system. There's all the easy tasks. All right, reward me, sir. Improved Explorer's Ring. Two! Ah, ah, ah. And it can do low alchemy. Just runes crafting warrior in the ring. You get extra runes when crafting fire, earth, air, or water runes. Those seem kind of fucking spoiled. Here's a lamp. We'll lose this. Get it from this guy. Thank you, sir. Oh. All right, that's to be at least 30 anyway, because that's how these lamps work. So it is, in fact, going into summoning. Because we're just fucking barely there. I can make honey badger. You don't give a shit. Okay. Next set. Should have started here. Right, if we're gonna do this, we gotta start by stealing the silk, because if it still works like old school, I gotta wait like a fucking hour before I can sell the silk back to the guy. Let's do that. Give me your credit card, I'll trim it to you. I'll trim it for you. I'm so fucking tired of scams all the time. It's not a scam, it's an advertisement. Maybe it's my inner boomer, but there's too many ads nowadays. Boy, howdy, this isn't gonna get better. Like, <laughs> we. It's not gonna improve. <laughs> Which is just unfortunate, but it is the way it is. Like, real, real talk. 
Oh, that guy wasn't inside. I love the diamonds being so you just destroy. Jail. Put the swords away. Hero just looking at me with such utter disgust on his face. Look at him! Holy shit! That is the way of the world. I guess, you know, maybe that's un unnecessarily pessimistic. Because, to credit, I am just fucking barely old enough to have been around when they were, when the internet was like just becoming a thing. I missed perhaps the super, like, absolute dawn of the internet. But I was a child with access to a computer at the fairly early phase phases of you, like, getting the AOL discs, you know? And the internet, when it first exi existed, like, at the very beginning, the internet was exclusively ads and scams. That was... That was 100% of the internet. It started at Max Dick, swung down to incredibly user-friendly, valuable, and a great asset to mankind and civilization as a whole. And then has spent the entire time since then climbing back up to just 100% scams and advertisements. So what happened was everyone went way too hard immediately. Uh, all these ads and scam groups kind of almost killed the concept of the internet at inception and then have been spending the ensuing 20 25 years slowly ratcheting it back up to see exactly how far they can go before everything falls apart this civilian that threw a tomato at the army recruiter and was pretty I have to pick like a certain door east of the gem stall and order his marketplace. What? Okay. This says attempt. Why? What's in here? Oh, he's just thieving chests. Oh, cool. That was also another thing. Okay, you do actually have to just go. Oh, is this just... I'm not failing these rolls? Tofu SLC, thank you for the follow. Is this one higher level than the other one? Like I'm stupid. I Maybe mean, that one's higher level than the other one. I don't know. I don't know. Keep in mind that when the internet started, all we could they consider scams were actually legal businesses. Um, such. So what do you mean? I'm curious on that one. What do you mean? This is something always used to fight arena by a waterfall valve from general store run by Amad and Corton. There's a lot of stuff. That's the chief servant at the servants guild. Chief servant at the servants guild. Find out about servants. That's also here. The vast majority of the internet still and always has, like, and even business on the internet exists to attempt to scam people. It's like the entire ecosystem of Facebook ads. So there are, I guess, not literally zero things 
that are advertised on Facebook that are a legitimate, like, business or product that you can purchase and it's not automatically stupid. Shit, I have to get a ring of dueling. Oh, man. I have to get a ring of dueling. I think I can do that, actually. It didn't click, but I think I can do it. I can make a ruby ring, so we're fine here. Enchant. Emerald Dory. Oh, we can absolutely make rings of dueling. Cool, okay. Make a ring of dueling. Easy. I lost my train of thought. God damn it, I got distracted by the ring of dueling. I'm like, I can't. I'm about scams and shit. We're talking about scams, we're talking about Facebook ads. We're talking about the vast, uh, the fact that the vast majority of ads on Facebook, literally all that they are, is attempting to advertise a product that, like, you can just go buy anywhere. They're like, like, it's just reselling, right? It's literal reselling. Attempting to advertise a product that exists that you can go... Fuck. That you can go find on Amazon for, like, five dollars. But if you buy it from them, it's thirty dollars. Because you don't know about the one on Amazon. And that's their entire business model, is literal reselling. Like, they actually just buy the shit wholesale from whatever manufacturer is selling them for five bucks on Amazon. And then sell them themselves for five to six times as much money. Because they can. Because people will... I, I mean, I'd like to hope are stopping this knowing, uh, not knowing that you should do any amount of looking into anything. Ring of Doom. It's an Iron Man's best friend. We're out of Cosmic Runes again. $30, though, so it's better. <laughs> the better version. It's definitely not exactly the same thing. Okay. Sell this guy 60 money. Go to Castle Wars. Teleport to Castle Wars. Go into Castle Wars is two. Get on the boat. A unit cow takes the unicorn horn and a cow hide. This is to throw a tomato with the armor recruiter in West Artie. I don't know what the fuck's up with that, honestly. Sell from East Artie to Karamja. Summoning Obelisk uses the fight arena. Observatory, Kazakh Battlefield. Poison Arrow Pub. I'm gonna say probably the Kazard one. We're in that kind of section. It says talk to Tindal Marshawn about identifying swords. That almost sounds like I don't need a sword. That would be cool, because I don't have one. <laughs> so that'd be great if I didn't, you know, have to have one. Solid. And we were one cosmic rune off. We don't even nippling yet. Also, my rune crafting is 23. We're getting kind of close to being able to do cosmic rune crafting anyway. The cows up here. Two cows, right? Ah, oh, no! The entire area up here that was cows is whatever the fuck this is. Damn it. These are supposed to be cows. We got rid of all the cows. Well, I guess we're going to Lumbee then. The Cassandra Lee stream, boys. We're going to the Lumbridge cow pen. That time of day again. Fucking Lumbridge. Oh, this is last used lodestone? Maybe? I guess the right click is the last one that you just did. I thought it was just Lumbridge. And I was very fucking confused by the zero feet that I went. That dude just distended like his blender skeleton fell apart. Yes. I've seen these guys get real fucking low. I'm really curious if they can die. I'm a coming. Don't worry, cow. I'm on my way. 
I'm gonna fucking slap you. Attack. Why is that cow of a staff over there? Why does it... The cow's got so many summoning terms. I guess there's supposed to be early game shit. Always hit us with a lumberage cow pound we least expect. Yeah, I gotta keep you guessing. You never know when the lumberage cow pin's gonna show up. It could be the start of the stream, it could be the end of the stream, it could be somewhere in the middle. But we're always gonna make it over the old lumberage cow pen. Did they just add this? You only need to click once thing? Because it's like hilariously overzealous and it's really fucking annoying. I've never noticed it before. It's not me that's wrong, so it must be the game. Alright, it's... Oh, none of my shit's gonna be noted, so I just is way too many cards. Right, I'm not gonna have anything noted. Varric for a unicorn horn. My farm is now in summer. What does that mean? <laughs> what? It's now summer, chat! Don't worry, everyone. Summer has come. My farm is now in summer. I have a farm, apparently. I guess. Is this the manor farm thing that stuff keeps popping up that I can do and then I can't do it exactly that second. I'm glad I used barge so that I could get to the unicorn faster. I'm really concerned about I'm really, really concerned about PVM in this game. I don't think it's going to work at all. I don't think PVM is going to 1% work in this game. Oh no, the building fell apart. We lost the building part of the building. What is this? I think we want to give a 10% chance to save using a charm when creating flares. Oh, right. I was probably supposed to use that when I was doing all that summoning stuff the other day. That's why I put it next to all the summoning stuff. Uh, I did obviously forget that it existed, though. Uh, but it's probably nice. I just need to go to a waiting room, please. Not wear capes in the arena. No capes. Not take non-combat items into the arena. I just want to go into the waiting room. Please? Can I just go into the waiting room? I want to go out of the waiting room. Thank you. <laughs> I want to take everything back out of my bank you just made me get rid of because you're a very annoying video game sometimes. Thank you. Okay, there's those two. Now we're all the way down by Yanilio. We're all Yanilled and shit. That's a lot of Ugers. Very chunky. Hit me for two. That wouldn't be concerning in old school. Your farm is now in summer. The eagle flies backwards at midnight. The cat will soon catch the mouse. Shut up. Fancha. I'm confused enough. Okay. A VD Hunter equipment in Alex shop, I believe, is the only thing that actually happens in Yanil. As they're trying to tell you about the only hunter store in all of World of Warcraft. Usta. Get me out. Good shit. We're cruising. Let me go see if we actually need a sword for Tyndall. The wording 
Was I supposed to make a guy throw a tomato at a dude? West already. Okay, we're good. Wait until it's autumn and the bald eagles go marketplace. Ah, that's the old. That's the summoning obelisk east of Formagubit. All right, cool. Thank you. Solid. Doing good shit. Candle, my guy. Marshawn. Give a sword. Talk to Tyndall. What do you do here? <laughs> hey, you don't actually have to have a sword! You don't actually have to have a sword! That's awesome. I don't have to go fucking find a rusty sword. Easy escape. Uh, all right. Fishing. Try to get on a fishing trawler. We're getting there. We're doing it. Try to get on the fishing trawler. I would like to attempt to get on the fishing trawler, please. You can't play this minigame in Iron Man mode. You know... Maybe it's for the best. Maybe Jagex really did have our best interests in mind when they decided that Iron Men just weren't allowed to engage in what appears to be half of the minigame content in RuneScape 3 for no fucking reason. Maybe they really knew what they were about. I don't ever have to do Fishing Trawler again because I'm literally not even allowed to do Fishing Trawler. Beautiful. Beautiful, and I'm happy to see it. Pretty sure I'm supposed to fight a guy. Hi. You didn't do anything wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to kill a dude. That is not what the task wanted. The task did not want me to just kill a guy. What did it want? Kill something on the Khazard battlefield. Oh, over there. My bad. This is the Khazard Arena. What was I doing in here? Just assumed by a skewered kebab. Assuming this is the Poison Arrow pub. Do you have any skewered kebabs? Is this not the Poison Arrow pub? This might not be the Poison Arrow pub. I don't think this is the Poison Arrow pub. Um, I don't know what the Poison Arrow pub is then. It's the Red Dragon and an Anil, and it's the Sleeping Something in Artie. So, I've got no fucking clue uh, what the Poison Arrow pub is. Cannot a Gnork. Cannot a Gnoblin. Gnome. What else can I do? I don't know how to do this. Oh, we're... Oh, no, damn. We have to go far. Kill Unicow. Go kill Unicow. Use the... Go to sport near the observatory. We're close to that, right? Close we're gonna get. Yeah, let's go get closer. Go head over that away. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. I'm glad- it's more interesting that these guys are having an actual battle because they're all like a real level now. It was definitely kind of weird that a bunch of like level 40 something Khazard guards were apparently having a hard time with a bunch of level 2 and 3 gnomes. That said, they did pretty regularly get safe spotted by the gnomes, which is hilarious. That shit's funny as hell. Just board. 
Near the observatory. Notice board in the observatory. You take those. Oop. I do like the power of Zoop. Zoop is a potent power. It lets you get places either significantly faster or literally not faster at all. What is this? I've never cast this once in my life. Adrenaline steal. I've never pressed that button. Uh, Cause I put it on my bar and immediately forgot it existed. And a shocking twist. I forgot about a mechanic after three seconds of not using it. Surge give it, surge take it. Surge would give it a lot more if this game's... I'm really worried about this game's combat, man. I'm really concerned. I think as soon... like I, I see a future where literally as soon as I start getting anything that's even remotely actually challenging or like requires any degree of minutia or micromanagement, or has at least, like, one mechanic. I'm gonna throw this game out the fucking window. Because it's just barely playable. It suited my entire hot tub. It's just barely playable. Click to move. It's not a good combo with like blink in the direction that you're looking. That's just not a good combination of things. Holy shit, that dude counts high as fuck now. Didn't he stop at a thousand? Or did they give him another digit? Did this motherfucker get a second digit or did he always count to 10,000? Oh uh, yes, the Unicow. The only one that does anything. Well, this is either, it's either this or this is the spider egg. No, this is it. The only one that does... Oh, what the fuck? You're 57? What the hell? You're like a monster? I gotta fight? You're just supposed to fall over and die. Give me my stuff. What do you mean I actually gotta fight this? I learned it will let you summon it without the gray, without the materials. We're slapping. There's a two shot, these things. What level are these in old school? I swear to God, they're like 15. Did we get a new, uh, it was an AoE. What is this? I put AOEs here. And this does. Oh, it requires a two hander. I have to giga slam somebody. I got a mega slam. They require a slam and also a jam. He's bound. He can't take the triple fucking damage from slaughter. His eyes stapled his dumb little hoof to the ground. You win this round, cow. And he tanked my ult. These unicows are fucking legends! food, so I've only got, like, so much cow poking in me. I guess I shouldn't hold. I should just use the adrenaline for healing. Give me your sauce. Did you kill him a certain amount? I figured while I was down here, I just grabbed some horns. Hello? Hello? 
follow us in the fucking neighborhood. Right. We're already in the poo poo cow hole. It's a good place to. This is theoretically faster than grinding unicorns by the Fremenic Province Lodestone. That's probably not even accurate, honestly. This is probably literally slower than grinding unicorns in the Fremenic Province. Because these unicows take so fucking long to kill. And are dropping almost exclusively one horn. Functionally one horn. Because two is one, because it costs one to make them. Adrenaline Hill, please! Thank you. Multitasking. I'll just kill a bunch, couple of these till we got a good number, and then I'll have unicorn horn powder for herb loring later. I gotta find someone who's a good source of herbs or something. Herbs or herb seeds, because I definitely don't have either. Was the flying suit? Ooh, that one. What a bleed. What a fucking bleed. Holy shit. Slaughter giveth and slaughter taketh. But sometimes slaughter fucking giveth. Every now and then, you just get an absolute fucking slap of a slaughter. Oh, it's beautiful. That one just exploded. That was barely even a cow. Okay. Oh. Good to know that clicking doesn't change your facing. Better to learn that here, I suppose. I kind of figured clicking on the tile in front of this would change my facing to the fountain so I could surge, but this game is, is somehow, every time I think I'm compensating for how clunky it is, it's even clunkier than that. To the Unicow was a taketh. Yeah, it, it giveth to me and it taketh from the Unicow. Exactly. See, you get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. You get what we're doing, man, Shaw. You feel me. Adrenaline heal. Adrenaline heal plays. The surge keep me in combat longer. I feel. Every time I think I'm compensating for how janky this game is, it gets jankier. You surge while you're in combat. You stay in combat while you're surging. Because, because I imagine you used an ability and the game is not intelligent enough to differentiate between combat abilities and non-combat abilities. I don't know what else it could possibly be. Holy fuck, some of these bleeds. What a slaughter. Let me play like one more. They'll drop some cow hides for it, because obviously the unicorn horns, the unicorn horns are more valuable than the cow hides. Slap, 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 slap. We're also getting like non zero combat XP, and combat XP is like a thing that we need. I do need some fighty levels. I do need some fighty levels. That's important. My combat levels haven't gone up in a million fucking years. Okay, I'm happy. Just, what do we have left to do? I need to sell the silk. Oh, we're down to the last couple. Sell the silk. Something West already. Take the boat. Find out what the fuck the poison arrow pub is. And do Monk's friend. Okay, those are all very doable. Very fucking doable. Let me go see if Poisoner Pubsy Neil. Might be. What's up, Cryptic? RS3 indeed. I think it's just called RS now. 
I don't think it needs the three anymore. I think they just kind of got to the point where they're just sort of runescape. Now this is definitely the Red Dragon in. Yeah, Kamab. Okay, maybe it's the one in Ardy. Maybe it's the one in Ardy. I don't fucking know. Hello, yes. I would like a fucking kebab. I like that you get XP for crashing now. It's kind of funny. It's just funny to me because I'm used to, you know, I guess not getting XP. I feel like it probably in the grand scheme of things makes a lot more sense to be getting any level of XP for doing this than just getting straight up nothing. Probably more logical. I'm doing herbivore stuff. I can clean these hairy landers though, but the problem remains I just don't have any fucking herbs. You're not the poison arrow. I don't know what you are. I'll go find out. It's definitely not the poison arrow. So it has to be in the Ardy Kandarin region. This is the flying unicorn. Here. All right. I obscured kebab from the poison arrow pub. This is not the poison arrow. Oh, this is a pub? What the fuck is that? That's supposed to be the Glabblehab headquarters. That's the, I'm pretty sure that's the fucking like LAPD corner office or something. The what? The corner office. You know, Glabblehab? You know, the Glabblehabs? I never figured out what the fuck they were. Ooh, order bar. Oh, that's fucking promising. Oh, that's hella fucking promising. Give me some food. World famous skewered kebabs. Skewered kebab me. Delicious. Did I get a bronze? Yes. I get a bronze arrow afterward. It's a neat little pubis. There's a squirrel in the corner. His name is Sparky. He's Sparky the neighborhood squirrel. The world is split into glavel haves and glavel have nots. Save me to Karam just there. Which I was pretty sure we did already, because I don't know how else we got here. Apparently I didn't. All right, Silk, West Arty Civilian, do Monk's Friend. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're going to have the Arty Cape back. Not, again, it's not, like, useful, but we'll have it. Could be worse. We could not have it. We'll also have a lamp that I get to plug into my summoning skill, and then my summoning skill goes up. And you know what happens when the number goes up? It's bigger than it was previously. Come on the fence, please. Zap! So just fun. I don't know why they added that pub. I don't know, because it's neat. Artie's definitely big enough to have more than one pub. It's a British game. I think your average British village has like six pubs. A village, I mean, like, if you got a population of, like, 14, I think you're, like, legally ab obligated somewhere in the British Constitution to have at least three to four pubs. Okay, I gotta piss somebody off. Pub is like British Starbucks. 
Let's move the army recruiter. Talk to man. Can you get me out of this hellhole? Help. Citizens of West Ardoin, who will join the Royal Army of Ardoin? It is a very noble cause. Fight alongside King Tyrus, crusading in the dark lands of the West. Help, they don't see happy about that. Hey, hey, you all shut up. Tyrus will be informed of these words of treason. So you just talk to him once and they all just, he just gets the shit beamed out of him. And that is a source of tomatoes, should I want them? All right. I can generate torn, uh, tomatoes by Welcome, getting that guy fucking beamed. To the squiddy pool. Options. 65 Win months of lurking. That's a lot of fucking lurking, Winterman17. That's a huge amount of fucking lurking. You are the shiniest squidling. Thank you for the almost five and a half years. You can just walk in the door. Yeah, because we've done biohazard. Because biohazard is when the king is like, Yo, Doug, the plague's not real. Then you can just go through the door. Because you know the plague's not real. That was further on the question. I'm pretty sure it's just knowing the plague's not a real thing and, you know, the king working with you. Have some fine silk from Al Karid. I want 120 coins. I'll give it to you for 60. I don't know what happens if you try to sell it for 200. I'm sure I tried that at some point. I'm sure it. Oh, it's right here. RPDT. Oh, it's literally just further out. The dock is right here in old school. The dock is just further away. This is still actually right here, whatever the fuck this thing is. Dock got scooched. We gotta do Monk's Friend. I don't think we need anything for Monk's Friend because all the stuff we would normally- We need a bucket. Uh, all the stuff we would normally need, save for a bucket, is tool belted now. So I think we just need a bucket. And we're good. This place a family member used to live in the middle of Buckcrack Nowhere, just some houses surrounded by fields, like 12 houses and two pubs. Yep, that's how they work. We have nothing but trees, two churches, and like four pubs in my village. Manja was 100% correct. Yeah, pubs are like European Starbucks. You don't sell buckets because you hate me and you want me to be sad. Okay, fair enough. I'm sad. Mission accomplished. I'm gonna see if I have a bucket in the bank, and if not, I'll teleport all the way to fucking Lumbridge. Because that's the next step. Yeah, off we go. Pubs are European Starbucks. We're like McDonald's. Although I think there's also a pretty decent amount of McDonald's over there too, I think. They might share in our general affinity for obesity. That one's not as American specific as they would like you to believe. This may be shocking to some of you, but it's words you need to hear. Europe also has bad things. I will get the blankie. So I can step on your balloons. Secret cave, ring of stones, bring me the blanket. I got you, fam, don't worry. Not that one. Further out. Here's town has about 11 million coffee shops. Not one is a Starbucks, though. Well, Circle Stone's actually sort of hard to see in RuneScape 3. That's kind of hidden. Hello, Lanky, please. Literally, why would you steal this? What do you have to gain? I'm gonna beat up their leader. We'll teach everyone else a lesson. I mean, they won't steal children's blankets anymore. I'll go over here. We could do cock tower while we're in the neighborhood. But the problem with that is I don't want to do it. 
That one might win the reward for most completely fucking pointless quest in old school. There is no reason anybody should ever do Cock Tower. Unless they're specifically trying to do every single quest. You get nothing. You get nothing and it takes forever. Anything else you need, Chief? I need the party. Whose brother is Cedric? Where should I look? Within view visible distance of the monastery, literally right there. I can even click on him from the conversation with you because he's in the same fucking chunk. Deal. I want the jug of water. I think I still need the bucket for me. I need the bucket because you can't fill a jug up at a well. Man, I would need the bucket or I would have to go to a different water source. I know these guys sell jugs, but I didn't see that. But the obelisk of knowledge. The stones of learning. I can't believe we played that entire shitpost. I paused. I paused? You can't put water from a bucket into a jug in Runescape 3. What? I can't pour water from one container into the other container in RuneScape 3? That... But you can fill a jug at a well. So, whatever, I guess. Fuck it. Damn it. Dude, drink this entire jug of water. Then I'll get you some logs. Here's some wood. This is a quest. We're questing. We're a hero. I'm the protagonist that I'm questing. They must be destroyed. We did it. We partied. I think a little 2001 cutting XP on it. That's actually not totally useless. That's not completely fucking worthless. 2001 cutting XP. I should have I would say I should have done that sooner, but my wood cutting is already outstripping all of the things that you do with wood by a lot. That's not the problem. The problem is my fire making is 28 and my fletching is 11. The problem is all the things you do with the wood are much lower than the wood cutting. That was already the way it was skewing. Now it's just even more skewed that way. All right, Dr. Orban. I have completed my easy tasks. Ardoin Cloak. You now have a candor and monastery teleport in your ability book. You can just do it regular style. People like market stall holders don't seem to notice you doing certain things when you wear it. You'll see. The Lamper found the storm room. You might. Okay. Teleport the monastery. If you want to visit the drunken nonks, I guess. Other bonus I haven't heard of. Maybe you can find them. Oh, it actually, the game straight up tells you it's going to do a bunch of shit. It's not telling you about it. Ooh! That cloak fucking slaps, actually. What the hell? Ah, uh, yes. We're an early game Iron Man. Let me continue wearing the cape of my people. It's good to have you back, Artie Cloak. I honestly, I don't know why. I just, just I li straight up assumed... The diaries were going to be an old school thing. I don't know why I did that. How do I delete? Where's my deleterator? Whatever. Give me this. Give me this. And I'm going to... Oh, Pathfinder's part of a costume. 
Pathfinder can go in here with the rest of the Pathfinder stuff. Because you are the all cape now, Ardy Cloak. The Ardigny Cloak has a bunch of fucking stats. Look at this fucking cape! Fuck you. Look at this fucking cape! It's got strength. It's got ranged. It has armor. They put so much shit on this. This cape's so fucking fancy now. It's a damn good cape. Okay, Easy Demonheim is scary. I really don't want to reset my current floor progress. That said, we could probably do this at hyper speed now that I can... You know, carry a weapon that's good. Maybe we'll dive into a hay car after completing Diamond the Rough. But we did that. After completing Diamond the Rough. So it has to be not during Diamond of the Rough. Okay. Go play Pyramid Plunder. That means I need to do Ixthorin's Little Helper. Well, this is a lot of work. That was a lot of fucking work. What the hell? Alador. Buy a farming amulet from Sarah? What the fuck is a farming amulet? Okay. Heal an elemental wizard by casting an appropriate elemental spell on him. These ones are extremely easy. We should do Falador. Falador's are all very, very, very simple. The desert sounds like it's a fuck ton of work. Um, also, it's the desert, and I don't care. I remember we looked at it, and it did something. It made you... You had to do marginally less mage training arena. But you have to do some mage training arena. Also... No, that was just an option we had. I didn't actually do it. We just realized we could. I thought I bought something from those fuckers already. Hello, yes, I would like a beer. Not a beer, I would like anything other than a- Well, beer also helps your stats. Fucking throw that shit on the floor on the way out. I need to be a wizard. Wizard time now. I'm a wizard. I'm gonna go heal somebody by casting magic on them. I hand off and spells with the air bolt. Guess what things I want. Oh, hey, it's that outfit that I couldn't post any thumbnails that included my player character once I had this outfit because it was explicit, which started rejecting my thumbnails. It's okay, we solved that problem. Oh, I see what you mean. There was a quest thing for the monks, but not for the pyramid planter. That is weird. You are so dumb. I'm experiencing agony. This is agony. I'm in hell. Free me. This is hell. Thank you. Okay. The triangle of not safe for work. There's plain chains. Oh, that's the one at the south border, right? Yeah, okay. What else did I do? Was there anything else that was in Falador? The, the castle, a bunch of stuff in the castle. But like, really? Who? You know what we could do? You know what we could do? We could use the superpowers granted to us by RuneScape. Because if we just kind of leave this here for a moment, that'll become the Twitch thumbnail. In the directory. <laughs> Those seven polygons of Cassandalee's chest will be the clickbait that we truly need to grow this stream. Hold on, give it a moment. Give it a moment. We gotta let this become the Twitch thumbnail in the directory. We gotta let this come up. Now this, this is live streaming. This is how you play the fucking game right here, kids. 
That's probably the thumbnail now. Okay, it's enough time. It's all my life. One thing I wish the baby for not safe for work. Is she having an asthma attack? She do be breathing pretty hard. It's probably just the literal weight of her fucking ginormous. What was it? What the fuck? There's an herb patch up here and an angel woman. But we saw one of those downstairs commanding the troops. What was it they said in the looker? Her gigantic cans? She's using accessory muscles to breathe. Check Discord. Let me see. Let me see. Perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Got him. Easy. Clickbait engaged. Alright, I need to learn my thingy. What do you do, good sir? Tell me what my family crest is. I am Cassandra Lee. My family crest is probably just a huge rack of antlers because my uh, father was a very prolific hunter. Mistolin, that could be your crest. Okay, I'm the Mistolin crest. I'm the Mistolin man. I gotta go to the mole lair. I gotta feed the hairdresser's pet. Fill a bucket. Okay, so we got ports to rim. There's a bunch of them. Most of these are literally in Falador. That's gonna make this really bad. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to set you on fire, but I mean, like, I'm not just gonna leave you in agony. <laughs> my bad. I just finished my Yak Track task. Via murder. And I got the new Lejankin Fighter's Cleaver for killing the hell out of that guy. Okay, and that's like the next thing. What is this? Arena the Glowing Beetle. Oh no, this is almost over. Oh no, I'm not gonna get the beetle. The beetle. Oh well, that's just life. Been playing up for Inkscape. Is that the end of the beach too? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I like I have no idea. Does anyone in chat know? I mean that's not like a bag sitting thing. God damn it. I, I'm so used to only shift like the withdrawal one. If anyone can just say, I don't particularly care. Oh, it's right here. Oh, there's a fucking water pump here. What the shit? This has always been here. Is that stay at the beach? We will mourn the beach. 27th of the beach? Oh well that's like five days then. That's not much further. The beach's time is also soon. Let me suggest what do I eat for dinner? Mac and cheese. Do you like fish? It's cheese. It looks like a rat. That thing's pretty big. That's a rat. I'm here to tell you, a rat will eat the shit out of some fish. Unless it's Dingus, because Dingus is extremely picky and will eat exactly his food and yogis and no other things. Uh, what are the odds you sell cheese and why is it zero? Cool. Good talk. What is this? Uh, it's just what a hammer looks like in this game. Uh, I saw earlier... I unlocked... This is a spell that I can cast. Oh, they're down here. I unlocked some teleport spells. I'm gonna bring these on the off chance that when I go down the mole hole, uh, the mole is like right the fuck there, so I can teleport out immediately. Cause I have to stick it to run all the way across the arena to get out normally. I don't really want to do that on account of the possible deadness. Never had some relative of Dingus. Huh? 
bosses first of all that thing's fucking ugly jesus christ what happened to the mole he was so weirdly adorable second instanced uh yes that's amazing That's fucking fantastic. Probably walk through it, but I have the teleport menu open if I can. All become more dangerous as the fight progresses. So ugly. He's so fucking ugly. <laughs> Oh, the babies are angry? I don't want to fight the babies. That's horrible. Oh, they're all ugly as shit now. Jesus, why the fuck do I get out of here? Looks like it's going to be the same shit based on the several large chambers. Although it appears it might be a little more streamlined. Maybe instead of him teleporting literally wherever the fuck he wants, he can only go into these larger chambers. Don't walk past the large potato. Potato is resting. Oh, you can just go out the way you came in. Oh, okay. Well, that's easier. On the lead. Thank you. Neat. We need to go talk to Party Pete. That was a thing. I have to acquire some cheese from Draenor Village. This is the nearest food shop that I know about. They probably have cheese. Looking for... Partimus Pete? Hi. Hi. Have a nice day, you crazy motherfucker. Okay, recharge your prayer points at the altar southwest of Bartzera and make a mine tiara. Kill an elemental wizard. Oh, I need a regular tiara. Kill an elemental wizard by casting an appropriate spell on him. Okay. The Wayne's changed. The only thing we have in Falador right now. What else do we. Do I have any silver? The answer is definitely no. Why would I have ever mined any of that shit? So I need a silver. Do I have any mine tiaras? I have one mine talisman, rather. I have one mine talisman. That's enough. It'll work. Let's do a scientific experiment. Uh, first of all, I'm going to cast... Kandarin Monastery Teleport. there's silver right here. I saw this earlier when we were walking by. I'm gonna cast Varrock Teleport. Because I want to see it. Cool. So it's the same as the old school ones. It does actually still put you in the same place and it's faster. But there's not like no reason to use these. Um, I meant to... I don't know why I was thinking... Draenor. I teleported to Varric. I was thinking Draenor. I meant to go... I was gonna go see about the cheese on the witch's shelf, because I feel like that wasn't there. I saw 27 silver. Am I crazy? Did you? Also, that was a diary task, so I did that on purpose. Shut up. Um, no one can prove I didn't. <laughs> Blah -blah -blah rune for no reason. Well, at the phase of the game where those are still kind of hard to get a hold of. What I learned in boating school is there's never a time where the law runs are valueless because the portal nexus is ridiculous. Yeah, your house has been completely changed. You don't have anything anywhere. Do you keep your cheese upstairs? Oh, <gasps> she keeps her cheese upstairs. Wonderful. You feed the rat. 
is going to be a happy little rat. I'm going to crush your worldview, chat. You want to hear something? Cheese is actually super bad for rats and mice. They can't digest it very well. It's not going to, like, kill them, but it's not good for them. Amulet of Farm. What does it do? What is a fucking amulet of farming? It's an amulet of farming with eight charges. I am an amulet of farming! And I am not currently bound to a farming patch. Okay. It talks? It fucking talks! Why does it talk? I need to turn some prayers on because I gotta restore prayer points. Okay. Um, healing amounts of wizard. And the prayer altar. Hold on, I'm literally just in one eye and out the other eye. Southwest of Port Serum. Hope it's just screaming if a patch it's found to is diseased. Maybe? That would make sense. Most foods anima animals are associated with is bad for the animals. Yeah, it's not wrong. And that's a great example, like, giving bread the ducks, which is also incredibly terrible for the ducks, and kills the shit out of the ducks. That shit is actual duck murder. Rats and mice can't digest cheese very well. I didn't know carrots and rabbits. I didn't know that one. I didn't know that was a no-no. But I would just believe it at face value with no investigation. What the hell's this guy? Where's that dude? All the children wizards. Children wizards! Hey ah yeah. Oh what? Sorry, fuck you though. Fire, sorry, fire breath, it happens. Is that most things most animals enjoy eating are bad for them? Look at human beings. That's fair! I enjoy eating Taco Bell and Kraft Mac and Cheese, so. By the sample size of exactly me, things that I like to eat and things that I should probably eat have basically no lo no overlap. Uh, and I don't know why that wouldn't extend to animals. Yeah, you can... That's not a black chain buddy. That's a red chain buddy. God fucking... Why? Why? It's armor! Why is there a stabbing hole? Thank you for censoring this, Wayne. I appreciate you. It's too young for this shit. Too innocent and pure. The girls like to breathe. I fucking guess. You gotta make sure the tents are getting enough frickin' oxygen. You see, Squidish, they'll be too busy staring at her cans to stab her. If that's the place they're already looking, then the sword is going directly into the cans. They're just kind of aiming there naturally. I have some keys for you. Weird child. It's a chin chopper. I guess that makes sense. You know, you have an ex it's just a rat that explodes. You have an exploding rat running your furnace. Really just banking on the exploding, not, or your uh, wheel. 
Really just banking on the exploding thing not happening, huh? I guess I should melt the silver first. Which is done here. Don't worry, I figured it out. See yourself closer to the game more. The boob window is basically just bright feathers for birds. Maybe. I don't know. I guess it kind of works as like a degree of gay pride signal beacon. Because if you see a like another woman's head snap and her eyes just fucking lock on, you have a target. Because, like, dudes are going to do it. Whatever. But it helps you automatically filter the pool at one of the 15 local pubs for whatever town you're currently in. Oh, I can move through this. The Gadar window. Do... Oh, I have to actually go to the Talisman first, I think. Go to the altar first. And I rub my tiara on this rock. I have a mind tiara. I don't even have to kill any mind goblins for it. I am the prettiest, prettiest princess. All right, we need to go to Frank and Port Serim. Heal. To one pub for five inhabitants. I think it's something like that. Because Europe is, in general, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere around there. Then the UK has about, like, 50% more pubs per pub. Kind of gets into this, like, doom spiral of you need one pub for every five people, and then you need one pub for every five pubs. And once you have five bonus pubs, you need a pub for that. And there's just pubs all the way down. I can't compare there's, like, five in my village. Like Starbucks. Europeans. Redbeard Frank. You're the guy? You're the dude? For Falador? You're the one rewarding me? Reward me, sir. Right you are. This is the first stage of the Falador Shield, the buckler. Grants you access to a prayer restore ability and an emote. Each of these features can be triggered by wielding the shield. The prayer restore can be activated from your inventory. Use once per day, gives you back a court or your prayer points. With all these features, it's pretty handy in combat. It gives you a small prayer boost. Even thrown in a bit of booty I found on my travels. Thanks, buddy. That's a, not a buckler. Fuck, Ozon? The hell? Hello? You here? Gudrun is settling down. She's marrying a dwarf poet. I guess that means no more nights out of the town with her. All the time she drank me under the table with the blue moon in. If poetry can make someone marry you, I'd better watch out. I don't want to wake up one morning and find I'd accidentally gotten married the night before. What? I like that these guys kind of like just go on an adventure. And they just wander around and they're there doing stuff. Hey, tick, 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 tick. They kind of turned Irish. I was... I don't know. Was, my brain was not ready for Ozon. I didn't have time to prepare my Ozon accent. He turned into an Irishman. We're talking about all the pubs in the UK. Okay, my mind is in one place right now. Have we talked to Meg yet? Oh shit, Meg. Anyway, a chick. Chick, a chick, a chick. Welcome in. Thanks. We did, actually. Ships. Ships. There's no clothes on this, I notice. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna leave now. Alright, good ship. We're making progress. Easy Fremenic. Does this require me? Oh, this is stupid easy. I was just gonna say lol no, but like, easy Fremenic's actually easy. We'll hit that one, and then I'll probably stop, like, snorting diaries for today. And we'll go do something else. The diary snorting is working. 
we're getting diaries. We've gotten like four summoning levels. 33 is what I wanted, right? Isn't 33 Supergirl? Yes. Level 70 girl. Don't fucking tempt me, Satan. I'll go back to demon time. Don't fucking tempt me. But the biggest thing I don't understand about RuneScape 3 is how anybody manages to play any of the game other than Dungeoneering when there's Dungeoneering. You guys know there's Dungeoneering, right? Like... You guys know that's a thing. How many does it go? Oh, I hit the, the whole level a thousand. I have a thousand total levels. Was the task kill like five of them or something? Kill way too fucking many. Five. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. A lot of people really don't like dungeoneering. Well, yeah, those people are free to just be extremely fucking wrong. Okay. Pray everything. I'm gonna target him because of my dragon's breath. I'll hit the entire line. You know, when I cast it. Aha! See? It's working. I hit the guy in the middle a little bit. He healed the full. I'm confused. Oh, the health bar just isn't fucking working, I guess. Avatar bomb. Nuke. He, he ate it. He ate the avatar bomb. That motherfucker. Hooray! Okay, there's that. Our crab's killed. Walk up here. These are level 71. What the fuck? Yeah, and they do damage. You might notice they do damage. I have no idea why they exist. They don't seem to be able to do their purpose of being a crab anymore. Okay. North Shore Northeast of Relic. I need three seaweed. I need to go talk to the hunting guy. I don't know what they're for. They're just like level 71 Giga Chad now. I guess crabs just didn't survive the... Well, yeah, they didn't survive the transition to... EOC or whatever, because that's not how XP works anymore, right? Now you get XP from kills, not from hits. So, yeah, they wouldn't have worked. Fuck. Really? That pebble stopped me? Because you no longer just get XP from sitting there slapping a crab. What? Explain this to me. Why did the lobster blush? Collect three seaweed. I feel like that's like a popsicle stick joke, you know? But I have no concept of what. All right, fish off Illicus Pier and touch the summoning thingy up front. We should be good. You should have seen when they changed how combat level worked. Well, I imagine that's why these fuckers are 71. just a little confused because I thought there's not a bank here. Pretty much the entire point of a rock crab was that they had no stats. Oh, I can net this. Perfect. That's the point, right? That they had one attack and one defense then have shit for stats. So then, surely, their combat level would have been, like, one. Because they don't have any of the numbers. But they actually hit, and they do, like, meaningful damage. At one point, your combat level is two plus defense level, plus highest between attack, strength, magic, range, and summoning. 
I assume this was to try to remove peers. Because that deletes peers from the game. Oh no. That's a problem. I have to actually do something. Okay. Why don't you use the closest to a bank? I feel like you're all on purpose, pretty far away from banks. Whoopsie poopsie. Take me to Edgeville, please. Hey, speaking of rock crabs, I need my crab. Because I have to be able to touch this, which requires me to not be at full points. But the only thing I can think of, because that means if you had 99 ranged and one attack and strength and magic, you would have the same combat level as if you had 99 range, 99 attack, 99 strength, 99 magic. So like, obviously this removes peers from the game entirely. What just happened? How the hell did that end up there? Kind of land war going on over there. I require a bagged crab. And I'm gonna level with you. I don't know. Oh, here they was fishing guy. He's not a mining guy, he's a fishing guy. Bagged crab! Come along, my brother. It's crabbing time. Let us go crab. We'll return you to your ancestral homeland, crab of rocks. Nope, oh, that's Falador. I will return you to your ancestral homeland, crab of rocks. Sorry, wrong F city. By the way, Chad, I should chill this more because a huge fucking, huge fucking thing. I already feel like I'm chilling it a lot, but I don't think it's a too much on this one. Quest for the Frozen Flame Pathfinder finale tomorrow afternoon on Twitch.tv slash official Paizo. And not only, not only is it that. A new hand touches I to go to Artie. Not only is it that. It's also going to be the last stream I do with two perception, not because I'm stopping the tabletop content, but because we are ramping the fuck out of the tabletop content. And we're going to have a ton of it, and we're going to talk about it tomorrow at the end of stream. Always, Grady, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. I should probably figure out what this weird little manor farm thing is. The thing is, the tutorial has tried to get me to interact with it like 15 different times, and I just keep... It's not like ignoring it on purpose. It just, it tells me that I should do manor farm things while I'm not physically at the manor farm. And then nine to 11 seconds pass and I have completely forgotten that it's a thing that exists. I could use literally any way to get herbs. Could definitely help. I need to go talk about Barbarian training. I need to go check the Barbarian Assault rewards. I'm amazed Barbarian Assault's still in the game. I'm actually fucking amazed Barbarian Assault's still in the game. Excited? Fucking get excited. I'm so pumped. It's gonna be a great finale, first of all. So that's already awesome. This is gonna be a super cool end of the series. And then, all this other new stuff. I don't think I'm related to a barbarian. Maybe I'm related to a barbarian. My forefathers weren't averse to traveling, so it was possible. Tended to cause too much trouble in your so-called civilized lands, so most returned to their ancestral home. You want to learn our secret tribal feats? 
<laughs> what are we doing? I'm gonna teach you some literal garbage. And also barbarian fishing. What? There's no- there's nobody here? I know we walked by this before we were doing waterfall quests, I thought that was weird, but like, it's still weird. There should be an army of Iron Men here. An army of Iron Men dozens deep. Just barbarian fishing 24-7. Hello. Get the lords. Tell me to do tutorial. I have to like... Okay, okay, kid, please, I know, I, I know how to barbarian my assault. This clearly has not been touched. I want to do this stuff. Our fishes get food. You don't need food. Why, why would you need food? You get fishing XP and also agility XP. And also strength XP. I'm sorry. Training. I'm gonna hold this shit out of spacebar. Spacebar o'clock. Oh no, I do have to watch all of these. Uh uh, uh, okay. What's up, baby? Deck oh, builder bundle know. was just purchased for year nine, comma ninety nine. Well, leave it, I assume. Thank you for that. What is the deck builder bundle? That was the same thing Unctina got. Is this, like, something I should be looking at? Is it actually, is it good? I assume it's a bunch of roguelike deck... Wow, the holy fuck, the pennants look horrible. Oh my god. What the fuck? Lighting down here is also worse. Pick up supplies from the dark vending machines you can't see. That appears to be at least like 40 to 60% of our in-scape through there, right? It's just like it's way too dark for no reason. Ooh. Hard. Hard to write. Portion. Still got a cultist simulator and two step from Eden for a while, so it was a good deal. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's true, we could skybox. We'll probably change skybox so we can see anything. That shouldn't be a part of the game that we have to interface with. I should not have to, like, put a custom skybox in to be able to see the game. You should just design it to not look like shit. You do you, I suppose. I just realized last time. Greenscape will let me play with shadows off. I'm starting to see that. Starting to see shadows off might be the way of the world. Just because literally everything is completely black everywhere. I mean, the shadows are stupid anyway, right? We're getting shadows from all of these objects that were clearly inside of a building. We're in a fucking house.
I don't want to see this. There's not even a floor here. The texture just doesn't exist. We're almost there. This step of the diary is taking almost as much time as the entire rest of the Easy Feminine Diary. Done? Did I win? Nope. I'm done. Thank you, Christ. Now we wondered. We did it. We've completed it. We have conquered the Fremenic Easy Diary by holding space for like literally three and a half minutes in the Barbarian Assault tutorial. How did I not notice this statue right here? This is a horrific demon monster. Uh, council workman down here, question mark? Oh, yeah, I got that diagonal. Got that fucking slide going right in there. Let's go talk to the council workman. Go get whatever the shit we get for this, which is a lamp that gives me a summoning level. I like barbarian assault. I do like barbarian assault. Ah, you know, you get another NPC put in a place where you can't talk to him. This is my favorite thing RuneScape does, is put NPCs in places where they can't be interacted with. Okay. Fremenic Sea Boots. They're strange, them boots. Reckon they'll impress the Fremenic and their strange spirits. Look at them carefully, see if you can't work out what they do. Useless. Thank you. You can speak to peer the serial deposit items in your bank. Post the agreements and sham will give you lighter extra charges. And why was that one 5k? Why was that one five times bigger than the rest of them? That was literally five times larger than the rest of them. I didn't even notice until I was I was already clicking confirm. I mean, that's fine. Like, I doubt I would have put it on something else, but, like, what the fuck? Bridges for tier four supply. That's interesting. I'm interested in this guy. You know what's crazy? My summoning is actually caught up to the rest of my combats. 35, 37, 38. My summoning is caught back up. Which is crazy, and definitely not something I thought would happen. I did not expect, uh... All thanks to girl. Well, if we get to a point where I can make another combat familiar, I don't think they work the same outside of Demonheim. That is to say, I don't think they're automatically 50 bazillion levels... ...higher than everyone else. But we could possibly, like, find out. Bronze Minotaur is in, like, one level, and he sounds like he could be a big Chad. I'm gonna take my last break of the afternoon, stand up, stretch my legs, grab some snackage. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Everyone, thanks for hanging out. It's coffee time, so if you're lurking, want to help the channel out a little bit, throw an emote in the chat. Posting anything once makes Twitch count as an active viewer, and that is what the algorithm cares about these days. That's the analytical they focus on. Uh, Twitch has kind of weirdly pivoted to, like, chat activity from just raw viewership numbers. Which I get. I get, but it's interesting. And, of course, those of you that are over on coffee, supporting through there. Those who are the ones coffee time was developed for, you legends. Thank the fuck out of you. Your direct support is keeping this live stream dream going. Keeping this viable as my career. Keeping the daily streams coming. Every single cent you're giving me is coming directly here. Not a one gets skimmed off the top, and not a half of them get skimmed off by Jeff Bezos like Twitch subs. Coffee bros! Get those funny bot welcomes into the chat, whether they be text or audio. You get to add an emote to the channel. Pretty much no strings attached other than don't fucking break terms of service. 
BRB, everybody. And then more RuneScape. Not really sure where I want to go, but it's going to be something. Nobody is born cool, except, of course. Hey there, how would you like a robot to welcome you into the chat every stream? Because coffee subs get that for being very special and cool. Seriously though. If I walk into a dude, I'm fucked. If I walk straight into a guy, we're just done. Oh shit, this guy's on the stairs. He's a fucking madman. I jumped over him. <laughs> See ya, bitch! My brother in Christ! Nah, man, wait, nah, I'm not, I'm not fighting you. I'm not, no, 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 no. You, we are bros now. I don't care. You say whatever you want. We're bros now. Where it is, yes. Welcome to WarioWare, apparently. Knockdown. Bitch just fucking oinked at me! Okay, I wasn't aware he was made of, like, unobtainium! Like, I <laughs> fucking... I didn't know he had an immortal 50,000 pound pig! Uh, okay. They do not know what is happening. I think that's the intended experience. Don't worry. She's probably one of my favorite characters in the whole game at this point. I really love her. Not that it takes much. I mean, she's eight foot tall, jacked into the short haircut. So, like, it's pretty much everything I'm looking for in a woman. <laughs> My bar is quite low, I'll have you know. No, I look quite high. About six five. <laughs> <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> I'm pretty proud of that. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh, like, that's pretty good. Or alone. Chieftain of the Mad Hand. Loud as fuck. The ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. The loathsome Dung Eater. Alright, the quality of the titles look really downhill after the first two. And Sir Gideon Ophnia. The all knowing. They ended on a high note. But the, the, quali the title quality greatly diminished after one and two. And two, the chick who sleeps with dead bodies. Poop guy. <laughs> like... Look at my, look at this cheese. No, cheesecake pr takes priority. He doesn't want to look at the cheesecake. He's got stuff to do. He's a busy man, the captain. It's okay. It's okay. It wasn't nothing exciting anyway. I see my cheesecake. Nobody's 
as excited about my cheesecake. I'm the only one that's happy about the cheesecake. I wish you could play this game as Zora Link from Majora's Mask. <laughs> I wish anyone cared about my cheesecake. Oh shit. Well, what, what do I do with the sh I have shackle. I have shackle and boss. How do I do this? Do I wait? Do I run early? No, you leave! Fuck it, no! <laughs> I didn't know the order! <laughs> Build a frame for a transportation portal, fabricating a gateway connecting two points in space. A pool of scrying magic through which Whoa. you can observe actions, lands away. A staircase carved of the finest mar- Welcome back, everybody. Free is censoring us. Good work. Free is shielding all of chat's gentle eyes so you do not have to witness. Cassandra Lee. Okay. Uh, what now? We have knocked out a couple of diaries. That was some good shit. I would really like to have 40 attack. I would like to have 40 attack. 40 attack would make me happy. I want adamant bonking weapons. But if I get 40 attack... I can make a Fractite Hammer in Demonheim. And I can just Fractite the fuck out of stuff with my mallet. You know what we could do? You know, I didn't do Dungeoneering for like five hours. We could do it for like one hour. <laughs> like I'm not... It feels stupid to not do it just because I have a huge problem and that's an incredibly addictive personality and I I can't have like any degree of variance and I will just sit here and do one thing for like six hours. It's it's a massive problem I've had for honestly a decent chunk of my life that I just get way too into shit. Way too into shit. I want to see what the fuck has to do. Way too into shit. And I'm really bad at switching tasks. Which means what'll happen is that if I can get started on something I need to do, if I can get started on whatever work or project I actually need, is to say, like, setting up Pathfinder stuff for the UGT show. Finale tomorrow is good to go. Don't worry about that. That's already, like, that's long since fucking prepped. But putting together, like, UGT. If I can get going on work, we're good. But I have to get there. Which is why I'm playing no RuneScape off stream. Because if I play any RuneScape off stream, we're going to hell and I'm never doing anything. What the fuck? You have classes? Chance of extra resources and skill task damage reduction, chance of saving. What the fuck? That's the increased chance of hitting with two handed melee weapons. Now it's a berserker ring. How do I upgrade it? It's like zero tokens. What, a, honestly, what is chance of extra resources? 20% chance of extra resources. 20% chance of saving resources. That honestly seems really good. Like the extra resources and the extra orange shit, but I guess that doesn't really matter because you'll just get everything you want and then, you know. It'll become a Giga Chad. Okay, I'm gonna spend the engineering token. Because these are so cheap. 
That was probably just like one floor's worth. That was like one floor's worth of tokens. And now I have 8% bonus hit chance. Which seems pretty fucking good to me, honestly. That's... That's Gusto. We'll take that. Why the fuck won't you pick up this water in? There's character classes. Oh, there is so much shit to this. Well, what the fuck? Level of those pants? Oh, level 20. That's not even good. There's so much to this. I was like, ah, oh, I figured out the game now. No. No, you haven't. There's probably still fucking 27 more mechanics I don't know about. So those class benefits get increased by 25% by me getting the easy Demonheim Diary. Uh, also, we need a little bit of Skybox action here, I think. Here's the clips in the last one. Dawn seems kind of fitting for this one. That's almost harder to look at. That's almost harder to look at than the regular. I wish it wasn't bright fucking blue outside. Hmm. Hmm. Paterdomus. Well, that's good. You're going to be green now. Holy broken door. You got any gold charms? No? Okay. Oh. Play me up when you get some gold charms. Any gold charms? Huh? Okay. I'll take Marmalade Ore, actually. Get a little bit of that. Get some strength levels. No got any charms? No? Rack that door? Like that. No end to wilderness. That's gotta be... Oh shit, that's a big boy. Is that the lowest effort bait anyone's ever put out? Does that even count as bait? There's not even bait on that hook. I'm not even sure it's a hook. It's just like a length of fishing twine just kind of unraveled on the ground. <laughs> Damn it, that missed. I really want that one to hit. Unfortunate. What's up, Liza? How you doing? This does... Not a ton of damage. This is definitely there for AoEing. So it doesn't seem like it's going to be super worth using without having an AoE ability. Or without having it targets two AoE, rather. Don't charm me. Actually, no, green charm me. Sorry. I want greens now, because I can use them. Or... And meat foot. Spooky ghost. The dog. Doing dog stuff. Funny. I'll take the marmalade, because that's an armor upgrade. I wanna get ideally Damn it. What do we have? We have 47 smithing. Oh, did we get enough? I feel like 47 smithing was the thing we needed for the fractite chest plate, wasn't it? Do we actually have enough? Can I do that now? Because if I can just bind, like... That's money. Fractite chest piece, and then also fractite legs. Then I don't gotta do shit. I don't know if you can bind the summoning sack. I'm gonna try, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna tell me to fuck off. Pretty sure it's gotta be something you can equip. Based on absolutely nothing. Just... What I would do. What it seems like, anyway. What the fuck's this? Nice to miss you, Mickey person. 
how to fuck off to her. Kind of surprised, honestly. Uh, I don't have. I'll take that. Helmet. This way. What the fuck is Great Tony for? Oh, that's the one below Fragtite. Five of those? Don't mind if I fucking do. Thank you very much. A prize for the reset. Yeah. I gotta do it for the thing. I want to see, I assume because that's in the easy tasks that it's going to require me to reset when I get to the top. This is obviously a stealth room. Because the goal is not to make noise in line of sight. Oh, it's on his other side. It's specifically on one side. Okay. Uh, take the key. What a weird room. Oh. The guardian door? No, I'm not. I need to ship you guys. Orange shield we do have. Whoop! Turn around, gold charm. Thank you. Gusta. You're supposed to hit your limit a lot earlier, but you know, beach hole. I haven't even understood the beach hole. I mean, I've done it like the tiniest amount. I've done the tiniest amount of beach hole. Like, God damn it, I got poison. I haven't done absolutely nothing, but I've done like really close to absolutely nothing. It's not even beach hole. I don't even know what all this dungeon doing XP came from, actually. I couldn't tell you. I did very little beach hole. Because I was doing beach ducks. Neat just purchased deck builder bundle for $25. It's a banging bundle, apparently. I don't think I've seen... Like, in recent memory, I don't think I've seen anything fucking pop off like that. On the Humble Bundle link. People vibing with this deck builder bundle for sure. Appreciate all you guys using the humble bundle code, picking it up. That does help me out. Doesn't make your thing any more expensive, but also I get a little bit of it, so that's cool. This is a neat thing. Okay. Right here. I'm just gonna run through here. Oh, so they just wake up and are aggroed. Okay, so you can also just fight them. This is fully explored, though. I don't mean anything that way. Uh, Crimson Wedge. Do not have. Magical Barrier Dispel. It was like instant I pressed okay to PayPal and it popped up here. Most of this shit is pretty quick. Turnover times have gotten pretty good on the internet as a whole. Forgotten warrior and her pet rat. Boot! Oh, and her pet dog. Oh. Oh. Sound like a fucking banjo kazooie character. A lot of that going around recently. I love you, fuck off, huge mallet. You make me happy. Oh, what a good slaughter. God, I love stuff. So far, Gorgonite or I don't think I can land that. On account of I can't, it's 80. Holy shit. Ugh. I think so far.
can sell one of these. I don't have a green charm. I'll upgrade him if I get something better. We'll just take that for now. What if you wanted to go to heaven? The god said weasel through. You know. You know. You feel me. Okay. What do we need? We need yellow and red. Okay, if they could just not walk past their targets. Be wonderful. What are your skull station? Thank you. Appreciate you. Go over here. It needs to go diagonal. Ah, oh, yes. We've done it. We've conquered the fucking weasels. The weasels have been defeated. No longer must we live in fear of the horrible, horrible weasels. I gotta turn that one down a little bit. What's up, Destro Nets? Where is the meat corn? There it is. Thank you. I have a meat corn. I have a broken or fixy hooky thingy. Like a spinner. I have a grappleizer. Add compound liquid lock door. What in the fuck is this? Is this an herb lore? Oh. Doesn't matter. Mystery for another day. So that's a fuck off door. That's our first fuck off door. Gotta kind of keep track of where the dickhead doors are. Oh, we went the wrong way. No, we went the right way. Pretty sure we can open some. I'm gonna pick it up out of this way. I don't want this shit. Some of the stuff in here now. Crimson Pentagon, Crimson Diamond. We have Crimson Pentagon. I can do that one. We can do that one. Having only played old school RuneScape, this looks so odd. I would give it that the game just kind of looks odd in general. It's, uh... I'm playing it for a little bit now. Still newish, of course, but... It's definitely not... Pretty? I don't know. It's not... Beautiful. It's alright. Just passable. It could probably be worse. But it is a very weirdly off-putting looking game. I don't know. It's because it, it's got all the same stuff old school RuneScape has visually. Like the jankiness of the 20 minute long ticks. And just like the huge clunk. It still has all of that. Welcome, Squidling, to the Squiddy Pool. But now it also doesn't have like... The light bright smeared and ah, shit, my tentacle. The light bright smeared and Vaseline graphics that kind of justify why it looks the way that it does. Fulcrum 70, 55 months in the pool. You with the shiniest squidling. Almost up to five years. How's the cool that Ben has to treat you? It actually does not look fucking horrible. This is looking pretty okay, actually, with the robe bottom. The melee armor and the robe bottom. Looking pretty all right, I think. Why did we come to Demon Hunt? Can you root me? Or did I just forget how to walk? Oh, my stupid idiot is safe spotted, so. Remember why we don't use melee summons. And he almost managed to immediately get safe spotted again. Time to get customized in the rank, that's right. You, you kill him. I'm gonna go fish. He's definitely dead. I get enough money for more Fractite. Or I can... 
get a green charm. I'll see if I can bind a summon sack. And I want to bind this guy because this guy is not the higher level one. This guy is level potato. He not good. You have nothing I care about. You got some money. Money might be the difference in the end. Blue diamond, I got that. Open this shit up. a hell of a maze random actually holy shit this one's a bitch we have to get around this middle thing can i go this way this might be it this be not it it's here to here to center that one was way more complicated than the previous path Open chest, please. Okay. Uh, I would love to not ever walk to this room again. Is that something that we can make happen? Oh, all well, the obstacles disappear. Other than this wall, which is still here, because fuck you. Never mind. It's not, I, I didn't realize that. That's actually nice. That's hella convenient. Stick the shit out of that. Rat. Foot. Music's very confused. It doesn't really. I'm not sure what kind of a bop it wants to play. You live! You little shit! Give me a charm. Damn it, you guys suck. Teleported would also be successful. Yeah, fair. So I don't know if it's like a large dungeon thing. But basically every single door is a guardian door. I'm definitely noticing that. If it's not locked with a key, it's a guardian door. Take the guy in the face, he dies. Bro, you have so much shit. And it's all trash. They have so much loot, it's all useless. Oops, all guardian doors. You are killing every enemy in the dungeon. Off we go, next door. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't have anything in it, so I'm just gonna leave. Something I need in there, have a nice day. Next door, please. So much loot, it's all useless. So that, that's true. That's any ARPG. Seems useless too. I don't even have these rooms. Gold time. If you dropped a green charm, if I just ran away, I was going to be a little bit upset, but only a little bit, really. Because at least I have a green charm. Okay, so this whole wing serve to give us one key this entire wing off of the start oh this wing rather this is one door off the start there's still this this door could be anything I guess we can save spotted he did not get save spotted I'm so fucking proud of him this guy's hurdy. Mysterious shades are fucking angry. These little bastards do so much damage, dude. I'm using the super weapon and everything. I'm using crush. We're crushing. That's what I'm doing. Destroy the damage. You're not done here four hours. I did not. This is literally the first floor. Okay. This is the first floor. I'll have you know I've done zero dungeoneering today. Until just now. We like progress the account. We accomplish things. Yeah, the fuck off door. The fuck off door. 
fuck off door. Two both right next to each other, both fuck off doors. Which means we have down from here and whatever this was. I don't remember what that was, but at this point that's far enough away that if they don't make me go to it, I'm not going to go to it. That's way too fucking far. Um back tight, back tight, back tight. I should process as many charms as I can. So much, so much. I think 12. Which means I have enough. The five of frag type are. Music's nice. It sounds like old school Doom music, doesn't it? It's like old Doom for the PC. Yeah, we were playing a different game for the first two hours. I don't know if that counts. We had like two and a half hours of not dungeoneering, and then I got stuck back in the dungeoneering hole. Shh. I'm talking. 49. Okay. So we're going to make a plate skirt. We're gonna bind this plate skirt. Okay. And then in two smithing levels. I guess I could just bind the helmet for now and I can replace it later, right? Surely I can. Unbind or something. Probably just doing that, I imagine. I can only use the three slots, right? So then I have this. So then I'll start with uh, the Crate Knight Mall, Fractite, Pants, and Helmet. Two more smithing levels. And I would be able to get the chest piece on there. Or if it drops. Yeah, That's why boss drop exists. Because they could drop, conceivably. Okay, we no longer need any loot. Jump kick a fucking... Oh no. It's a puzzle. Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay, we have switches. Remember. What do these do? I feel like these should be doing something. Guess this just the order. Okay, fair enough. Oh hi. Should have looked at that door if we walked in. Never mind. <laughs> Man straight up dropped dual wielding rapiers. Wanted me to be a bitch ass little sword fighter. Oops, sorry, I didn't the boss room. I would have explored more, my bad. Whoops. I, uh. I was an oopsie. We could have gotten more tokens and then I fucking. Fucked it. I fucked it. I fucked it. I didn't realize it was the boss. I was just clicking on shit. I was just clicking on shit. Look at us, we're fucking geared. Okay. Here's what we're doing now. We're grabbing the most basic of stuff and we're just going. Not even looting all this shit. There's no reason to. 
Okay, that's a prayer altar. You can pray here. Okay. Let me see if there's a giant spider tree smithing method. I don't know. I think in Runescape 3 is like way cooler than old school. However, comma. It's very slow for leveling as far as I can tell. Returns a bunch of money. Returns a bunch of money. Like the dusky eel and the money. Seeds are worth a bunch, especially the herb seeds. We're collecting. Every door is a guardian door. You must fight everything. I guess this is kind of the point. While we're in the dungeon, this thing's gonna be slower. Smithing is rocket speed. Smithing levels at the speed of light. Gathering metal is really slow. Those are different things. They inverted in RuneScape 3. Now you get metal at hyperspeed, but the actual process of smithing is slow as fuck. I should probably just buy my 50 feathers uh, and the initial setup, I think. Thank you, dog. Do I have to fight him? Not really. Those will summon the green charm guys. I should grab all those actually, because if I get a bunch of green charms, I can use this to summon like fucking crazy. Because that's what the uh, green charm guy needs to summon this great man, I'm pretty sure. I gotta remember to go back and summon everything I can before I leave each dungeon. Yeah, smithing being useful in the game is the part that's super fucking cool to me. Smithing doing stuff is. Like, that's the childhood fantasy. When I was a kid in middle school, I told the story a million times, I'll tell it a million more. When I was a kid back in middle school, and I had just discovered the magical world of RuneScape, I, don't, I never had members. I never, uh, I dropped them, I don't fucking care, I'm too lazy to pick them back up. Never had members, was free to play for life. Smithing and mining. I thought were the coolest skills in the game. Because how fucking cool is it that you can just go into battle forged entirely in the shit that you made yourself. But that's not how RuneScape works. So. I still thought it was super cool. Because I was a child and I was dumb. And to my like 11 year old or whatever brain The fact that it took 99 smithing to uh, make the shit that you could wear with like 40. To me, that was cool because I'm like, oh man, you have to be such a super badass to be able to make this armor. But now it's just like, this is dumb and imbalanced. It was impressive to like an 11 year old. I don't even think I was an 11 year old. I was even younger than that probably. Ow. Myself on the mage shards. That's apparently a thing that can happen. Bless you, my son, my child. Be a little bit of cooking logs. Thank you. Always need some summoning charms. Guardian door? No. For that reason, I'm out. Mathis and Crate. I don't know how much Crate it is. Enemies getting pretty fucking high level in here. Guardian, do I gotta fight this one? 
I think we are rapidly approaching that point that we had at the very beginning when I first found Dungeoneering when I did the tutorial and said, holy shit, this skill is so fucking cool. And we just got hard walled by the fact that my combat level was not high enough to fight. He's just sitting there, what a champ. It's not high enough level to fight the stuff in the Dungeoneering. I kind of outpaced my combat level. I feel like we're a, deg a degree of close to doing that again. Or maybe you're supposed to have to eat food and not just ignore everybody and take no damage. of intentional. I like that. I mean, eat food and just slide out a onto their faces, though. Second RuneScape 2 SO0 and time to get 99 skills until something happened after, like, 75. I'm pretty sure if I even had the mental capacity to look at, like, the full leveling chart, I could not understand what I was looking at, much less what the point of any of it was. My favorite skills are mining and smithing. Armor increase, appreciate you. This is a quick large floor so far. Ooh, not guardian doors. Bye. Have one of those. Bye. Learning shit. Uh, we need in Pentagon. Yeah. Drop this here. Silver Pentagon is here. I wish there were like icons on the map for the locked doors. That would be, I think, a nice quality of life. I have to remember exactly where, like, because that's green wedge, which is different from green diamond. Because there's so many different keys. An indication of what was what uh, would not go amiss. Hey, got shit. We just know summon girl. We haven't been given apps access to Supergirl yet. We haven't found a green charm since we unlocked the ability to summon Supergirl. Two round before it was like to see a fire cave in the wild. I'm here to tell you that I sure as shit could not have even identified a fire keep, fire cape. I would not have known what a fire cape was. Um, I would not have like had any identification of what that item was. Yeah, also, apparently, yeah, true. Also, they weren't free to play. I never had membership. I guess I might have noticed just because I animated. Come on, man. Get a green charm. I just want to see if I can find Supergirl. Too much to ask. So I can probably just smash at this point. Thorn Magical Barrier. We're not going to fight. See you later. Rock, steal a diamond, I don't have that. Fuck off door. Oh. Nice surge, idiot. It's me, I'm the idiot. Jesus. The diamond, I don't have that. Hmm. 
Yellow Crying. Hold on. Agate stones and silver diamond. That's a fuck off door. That's yellow diamond. That's purple something. I have yellow triangle. Oh, it's right here. I was worried for a minute. Like, hold on. I don't know where to go. I feel like I have a decent track of all the places. I forgot about this one. It's like in the middle. Oh, this guy, while I do a Zelda puzzle. on either side I have to I have to block one of these to get through it looks like it's a chest or a chest in front of the lit up wall. It's going to take forever. This is going to take 400 years. What the fuck? Do I need barrel capacity? I'm assuming if I place it on this little square, nothing's gonna happen if I don't have barrel capacity. Tears of Guthix. This isn't even Tears of Guthix. This is Tears of Me. This is Tears of the Streamer. This shit's awful. We're complaining about Weasel Room again, goddamn. Hopefully we can finish it there. What a horrible, horrible room. Yeah, why the hell does it decay? I should just take that guy kind of balls. Uh, another mirror I want. Okay. That really does not need to decay. You, you can play perfectly and you're still gonna get a little bit sucked. Uh, I want to die. No, the slime. I'm gonna do a puzzle. Never mind, just fuck off for him. Oh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I'm digging it. 100% here for it. Completely okay with that being a fuck off for him. Completely okay with that being a fuck off for him. Never had less complaints in my life. Run around. I feel like we're probably almost there. The only thing we could possibly have is a key. There could be a key that makes us go all the way back around. But even if there was, I don't have any keys at all. Guardian door, I gotta do killing. I'm learning! I'm looking at whether they're guardian doors, Chad. I'm not fighting everybody if I don't have to. Which might just be ill-advised. I might be better to just fight everyone. 
experience and stuff. I'm not sure how the uh, points are calculated. I'm going to go in here. Because it counts bonus rooms. So I'm figuring probably going into the room at least counts. is a boss room. I'm bound. Get him, girl! I'm stapled to the floor. Never mind. I don't want to go over there. Okay, thank you, girl. <laughs> That just seems like too much work. Girl, you do it. I don't want to go over there. <laughs> okay, progress is frustratingly slow as of late. But it is progress, at least. I'm nearing the end with every day, and I must retain my focus. I drive. I know it dwells at the bottom. There's only one thing powerful enough that can animate power across planes of existence. I must be right. Praise Amarek. Well, that one, I felt like we did everything right, and I still only got 1,400 tokens. I don't feel like I did anything super wrong there. I went to every room I could easily, reasonably get to. I mean, to pick that up. I still only got 1,400. That RNG and skill check rooms? Maybe. Maybe. There was a... Uh... There was a fuck off room. There was that rune crafting fuck off room that was locking several other rooms. I just been unfortunate. Hey there, sad ghost. Oh, this is a different ghost. Here lies Leaf, posthumously honored with the discovery of Pep Reaper. Her farming room? Herb lore room. Now we got an instant fuck off room. I'm probably not going to remember that one for later because it's too early in the run, but that's a fuck off room immediately. But yeah, the, we found a boss and not realized it on the previous floor, and we got the same amount of points as the one that I explored as much as I possibly could. That's what I mean. Oh, baby, it's time for Simon Says. Hi! Don't laugh at me. That's rude, first of all. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. We're supporting- Stop fucking laughing at me! Jesus! You're a dumb hoe! Fuck you. Zoop? That's the emptiest room I've ever seen. fun room. This is a fun room. Well, there's like no fucking way I'm keeping track of who's who. 
We got these two. So it's you or you. Oh, you can. Oh, you can see it. Oh, he opens up. I see. He actually opens up, and you can see the key. The act of simply retrieving the key is enough to deactivate the magical seals on the door. Ah, coding is hard. Good talk. That was a hallway. We had two of the most pointless rooms in existence. Other side, please. Zoot. This is a... Crimson Rectangle. Guardian door with literally no enemies. Purple Rectangle. I don't have one of those. I leave. This is why I need to summon Girl Small Edition. Orange Wedge, Yellow Wedge. I don't have either of those. This dungeon's gonna be a fucking disaster. This dungeon's gonna be an actual fucking disaster, trying to remember where everything is. We're running into all the keys first. I'll smell some of this because I do need to smithing XP. So I should probably pick these up. These aren't like the greatest, but still. I think that that's a group someone can take the key and block anyone else opening the door. Ah! See, I would assume there was a logical reason where in any game but RuneScape, but it's RuneScape, so I just assumed the devs weren't confident enough to cut the way that they wanted, because, you know, literally all of RuneScape. Just gestures at everything. I want to smith as much as I can for the XP. We can't go that way because that was... This is a fuck-off herbivore room. Which means we're going one of these directions. Fractite. Already got Fractite pants. Melt the marmalade. All the keys used to be actual items, but the shaped color ones became just add to a communal pool. The shaped color. Oh, they used to be a shape or a color. Oh, yeah, you can't do that. Color blindness is a thing that exists. You can't just do one or the other. The fuck? I'm impoverished. It's like I haven't fought anything yet. Some capitalism ought to fix that. Good work, capitalism. Okay. Oh, Crimson Crest, I don't have that. Augusta. Take a marmalade plate body. Take a helmet. No, I have a helmet, but it's a helmet. Oh, I already have the fact that helmet, actually. That was stupid. Oh, well. Means I can render it to him. We got the smithing XP, so that's what really matters is the smithing experience. Okay, this way now. Oh, we got a fight. We got a fight. Sorry, it is ordained. The door has been sealed until I murder you. You don't deserve this, really, but, like, you know... I only get as much to say as I get. That's fuck off door. We got a lot of early fuck off doors, which is a little interesting. Because that means we should theoretically have a degree of a straight shot. This could only be two rooms. Two rooms. A fuck off room. It has to be every fuck off room. It's three already. 
This dungeon's gonna be worth like 300 tokens. This has been three fuck off rooms. So that's a fuck off. That's a fuck off. That's a key I don't have. Which means we're portaling. One of those is a fuck off. Orange wedge. The fuck off either of these still? Purple rectangle. Nope, I've done either. What? There's a third door up there. Don't have. I literally just did not see that door. Okay, that's what we're missing. Probably give me this then. We're gonna stay up here. Oh, it's the guardian door. Come here, you actual child. Bonk. And come here, you menace of a spider. Don't fucking poison me. Don't be rude. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yellow diamond. Is that what we need? These can't be fuck off doors. We've had three fuck off doors already. These are going to be doable. Okay, dark spirit exercise. Yellow diamond. Crimson corner. I have gold corner. I can do gold corner. Orange triangle. Crimson rectangle. I have all these. I was doors pointless. Oh, fuck off. I'm digging a hole! Fuck off! I got one. I want it. It's on principle. It goes on the floor. Ain't even keeping it. You can't accept that kind of disrespect. Already in there, okay? Beat this guy a little bit. Hit this motherfucker. He's dead. Probably shouldn't have a threshold step, but that's okay. And I'm poisoned. We have girl accessibility. They even got Blyleaf on me. Cool. I'll see a green charm again someday. Desire sensor is going really fucking hard. Desire sensor is going unbelievably hard. We got so many totally fucking pointless green charms we couldn't use on the first 30,000. Oh my god. This again. One of them opens their mouth. Now we just wait. They can't reach that at me. Try it again. Fucking bonitis. She killed somebody. Yeah, she murdered so fucking fast. Barely walked through the room and she killed a bitch already. Okay. We need to 
yet. Work our way back out. We got more keys. Crimson corner. Of gold corner. I can do gold corner. Drop this here. I think we're going a ways back. How's this magical barrier looking? That's fixable. That's fixable. We can fix that. That's not a fuck off door. Activity comment. Appreciate the big man. I need divination. We have the world's first usage of divination. I'm gonna do it. I can open it. That's a fuck off door. This dungeon, I think, has six fuck off doors and a door that I have to divination boost for. What the fuck? I. I, I is my dungeoneering outscaling the rest of my stats? No, it is the children who are wrong. Ah! Oh, man, I had <laughs> just murdered somebody in the distance. <laughs> Screaming. Can you glowing? I can do glowing, right? Glowing's like the ideal one. Glowing's the best one I can do. I need you to die! Because I need to divinate. It's not a fast process, divination. Oh, I got him a spotter. Got charms, boys! Love to see him. I need the divine you. Poka. All right, hold on. It's AFKing time. Look, you're done taking the best two levels. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like, look, it's fucking fun. If they didn't want me to just do dungeoneering, they should have made it less fun. Of course, I'm just gonna do dungeoneering. It's like the best fucking content in the game I've found so far in like my three weeks of playing with literally no idea what stuff is in the game. This shit is stupid entertaining. I'm doing it, I'm divinating. I'm gonna be divine. My hunter's higher. Only because the beach though. I'm doing ducks. Ducks are always there for me. I have a plus eight port. I'm gonna segue into Slayer, but it's forcing me to go farm and herb. Slayer is forcing you to go do farm and herb? What the heck is going on with your Slayer? Portent. Pointless move. Where are we off to? Orange wedge. It's right here. So many rooms in this dungeon. That's not the boss, that's just a guy. This looks like this is a literal throne room. How are you gonna be a fucking mook? You have an actual throne room. And you're just 
some bitch. Wild. That was a fuck off. Oh, I didn't see a wooden barricade door. This is a fuck off door. That's a Daisy both fuck. This is this is the fuck off, right? This is the like 86 crafting, 69, nice. Okay, these are both incredibly fuck off. You need a wood cutting level that isn't physically possible though, past this. This is the mightiest barricade in the history of humanity. Gold triangle, don't have it. I believe the due south of me is a dead end. Okay. I got a couple of keys though. That's a fuck off. Crimson Crescent, don't have it. That's a fuck off door. That's a fuck. What? Can you fail? Can you lose a dungeoneering? This is... Let's start checking off. This is 76 crafting. This is 70-something agility. This is a key I don't have. They're, these are both hilariously high requirements. There's four left. That's the Crimson Crescent. Oh, there's a path to the boss. Yeah, there's a path to the boss. I'm just pretty sure it takes 27 construction thousand. That's a gold triangle. Don't have that. That's herb lore. Don't have that. It has to be this. It has to be whatever is down there. That's the only door I um, can make it through. Crimson Diamond. Don't have that. Was the one up top one that I could open? I didn't think it was. I thought we already checked this. You say there's always a path to the boss. I say that that is incorrect. I see now why you can... I mean, yes, there's a path to the boss, but, like, I don't have the skills to do it. We can't clear this one. Let me go back. I'm literally going to double check. Every door. We go to the southern end of the map. We're gonna double check every single door. Every single door. Just the key is not completely impossible. Okay, so we're gonna start. I don't know why I keep looking at OBS to look at the map it's right here. This is 70 billion agility. Can't do that. No way I could have 78 agility. This is 76 craft. I know that. It's literally 76. I can tell you the number. 76 crafting. It's not that. This is the Crimson Crescent? Don't have a crimson crescent. Do 
Maybe it's this room. Maybe I read this room wrong. Here lies Leaf posthumously honored with the discovery of Pep Reaper. Okay, so yeah, all the wrong answers just hurt you. And Pep Reaper takes 39, and I have 20. That can't be done. Not this room. Not maybe that I, like, misunderstood this one. Unless you can just go through this door anyway. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so that's a negative. Just go straight across to the gold triangle. Don't have the golden triangle. Can't do that one. Go back and check down here and make sure there's not like a key hidden in one of these weird little rooms. On this little dead endy section here. I had to fish these fucking morons for five minutes. Not appear to have missed a key, at least not an obvious one, not here. Yeah, I'm telling you. I don't. This is one of those things I'm pretty sure. Where at this point, like, RuneScape doesn't have new players. So everyone forgot what it was like. To not have 94 in every set. Because y'all have been playing the game for so long. Which is understandable. Hard to remember being a noob. Was it that thing they said in the looker? The master cannot see the board as the novice does. You can no longer see the piece as a hunk of wood. The chat who's played RuneScape for 17 years cannot remember what it was like to not be able to pass every skill check in Dungeoneering. I'm not with them boosting, they're just sick crafting. Right? My crafting's like 30. At 36, now okay. Every time I had missing place on my noob, I'd missed a P. I'm looking! I mean, well, I'm looking, we're going. Room by room. Unless the keys, like if it's if the keys can be in a situation it's not there, sitting on the ground and there is a giant jet of golden steam coming out of them and also they're screaming. Like, if they don't have to be that. They could be in a box or something. It's possible I missed the key. This is a corner. This is a gold corner. Did I miss a key? According to chat, I must have. And I'm not saying I'm not saying it's impossible. Very possible. I'm saying we've checked the whole dungeon. Like, it would have to be way over there. Which, of course, is where it would be, because that's the most annoying place it could possibly be. It's fucking annoying to get over there. Literally the farthest conceivable room. There lies one key. You know the funniest part about this is? It doesn't have to be the boss room, but it's almost certainly going to be the boss room. 
so we had this finished in about 14 minutes and then spent another the full length of the time it took us to do the dungeon trying to find the last key Fuckers, oh, no. Oh. Oh, she has a dot? This bitch slaps. I'm bring her some hangy. That key doubled our dungeon duration. Honestly, kind of impressive in a way. It's twice as much dungeon per dungeon. By simply missing one key. They're literally... Leads to it's none of you, you're all skill doors. Skill door, skill door, wrong door. Skill door, yellow triangle. Is it up here? I thought this was the crimson diamond. It's apparently the crimson crescent, which is a different thing. Oh, remember, you're here forever. Oh, skill door, skill door. It's this one. It's the one that's the furthest physically possible away from everything. Because why would it be anything else? When it can be the absolute farthest possible interactable on the entire map. In all situations, at every crossroads. It could be the farthest you could conceivably have to walk. That's the one that goes from the starting room. Jesus, this is still like... Why the fuck? What the hell is this dungeon? What is this dungeon specifically? <laughs> and it keeps going! This dungeon's mom's a hoe! What the fuck? How are we still going? This dungeon's here because you've done too much dungeon hanging this week and they want you to leave. I fucking believe it. This literally it feels like a dungeon just outwardly saying, please leave. I don't got any keys. I learned a valuable lesson earlier. I guess you can roll like a fucking dungeon. You can roll a fucking dungeon when you're on large. This is a hell of a dungeon. We call this the Hebrew Stacks. I picked up a couple of keys. Red Crescent. 100% goes to the starting room. I don't know where the rest of them go off the top of my head. Yellow crescent we don't have. We still don't have yellow triangle. That one is... I don't know what this one is. I'm going to check one in the neighborhood. Skildor, Skildor, Skildor. Skildor, Skildor, Skildor. You're Red Crescent. You're something stupid. You're fuck off, idiot. You are... Crimson Corner, which we still don't have. Okay. The only thing we actually have... Is this here. Off of the main entryway. That's the only one that we've got at the moment. Which is what I thought we had the last time we finally found a key. I was saying this is the boss and it's hilarious because he's literally attached to the starting room and a 40 minute saga to figure out a fuck to get to him. This stupid asshole. Oh, hi. Can you do it? I don't want to walk over there. 
I guess I'll go to the exit. Thank you, girl. This is why we have girl. This is what girl is for. Whoop, 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 whoop. Blitzing through the entire dungeon entering new rooms without fear. We got 2k tokens for that one though, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Alright, one more. We gotta we gotta make up for that. We can't end on that one. That's not an ending note. That's not a fucking ending dungeon. That's depression simulator. You can't end on depression simulator. Now we're gonna do a dungeon. It doesn't suck balls and made me wish I was dying the entire time we're in there. It might it's not necessarily gonna be this one, but we're gonna do one that doesn't suck balls and made me wish I was dying the whole time I'm in there. Prob that's probably not this one though. On account of the 105 herb lore door in the starting room. I don't know why I bother fishing. Because one of these days... One of these days... I'm gonna need the fish. And when I need the fish... I'm gonna be glad that I fished. Logs, please. Logs, please. Logs, please. Thank you. Oh, have a nice day. Diamond is the thing that I have. Yeah, I'll just like fuck off. Doing stuff. I have some shield. I have several shields, which means it has to be this. Currently, this dungeon's only got one path. Pretty thankful for the single path dungeon. That's freaking out great for us. Can't get confused when the dungeon is a straight line. It's impossible. Can't go any direction. Never mind. Dungeon has outsmarted me. Pentagram. Purple ledge. Blue pentagram. Crimson crescent. In corner. Oh, crimson shield. We're going back to the entrance. Okay. Back to the entrance, everybody! The Crimson Shield over here. I have that. Oh, because I have to kill this. Fuck. You got any charms on you, buddy? No? Let's go. Cool. It'd be cooler if you did, though. I'd like to have some charms, honestly. Charms are pretty neat. They let me summon girl, and she just does the entire dungeon for me. I'm kind of glad that Slaughter Slash was pretty completely really pointless. Okay, Charm. Okay, well, before we go any further, well, we're literally right here. I am interested in this. Girl. Wonderful. Come back out, girl. I require carrying. Aid me. I am but a wee child. Boot! You don't got any more of them charms? 
really just like, I don't want your fucking $12. What were you planning on getting a candy bar or the vending machine at lunch? What the fuck? What in the poverty is this? That dude had 12 coins? Fuck that guy. I didn't even literally did not even see him. I didn't even see him before he got his bones fucking deleted. Time. Check the agility. Time with benefits. Excuse me. Already in door. Ooh, this, this way. Look at this fucking unit here. This absolute Chad. This specimen. He's dead now. He didn't get very far. Unfortunate. You kill him. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. You kill this guy, I'm gonna start pushing puzzle statues. Girl, please dead him. Girl, I'm trying to solve a puzzle. I solved this puzzle. I'm just gonna just fucking kill him. Thank you. Thank you, girl. I appreciate you. See you later, Fulcum70. Thanks for thanks for stopping by. Thanks for hanging out. I'm pushing here. Two gold charms. What a bounty. What an absolute feast. Rin crafting level from the door. And I hit a hand with my hammer and he exploded. Little pentagram. I have one of those. Also a crimson triangle. Not gonna miss that. We're gonna learn from experience. Experience is don't miss any fucking keys. Or shield, I have that. Excuse me, sir. I got business to attend to. Okay. Two Pentagon. He's bullying girl. That dude's bullying girl. Oh no. Girl's starting to have later really any amount of problems. A lot of shit. A lot of shit in the water. Fish up all these nice little short fin deals. Fishing is going to get way out ahead of my cooking because I never fucking cook any of these because I'm lazy. But they're there in case I need them. Now this dungeon's cruising. Now we're on like actual cruise control here. This is Speedus. Yeah. Welcome, Squibbling, to the Squid Island Pool. Island Toto, two months in the pool. Welcome back. Hype applause, hype applause, hype the applause. The shiniest Squidling. Thank you for the continued support. Glad you're enjoying the show. Glad you're enjoying some dumb idiot getting, like, just completely fucking stuck in here for way too long. Do oh, I need these? If green, if green charms are edit, ever added back into the loot table for Dungeoneering, these are the things that make Supergirl. I wish they hadn't patched out green charms right when I finally got high enough level to use them. Hi. Hi. No keys in there. Fuck off door. It's our first fuck off door, actually. So this one way up here. Oh, that's great. It means we never have to come back over here. The only door on this entire half of the map is a fuck off door. This is an apology board is what it is. 
This map is fucking apologizing for whatever the hell that last floor was. Over diamond, don't have it. Crimson corner, don't have it. I'm having to go through a bunch of doors. You know, just like a regular amount of doors. Crimson Crescent, don't have it. Silver Pentagon, don't have it. Purple Wedge, don't have it. Blue Pentagon, do have it. Hey, it's my Gatestone. Oh, I left that back at a huge nexus of other locked doors. Hello, Diamond. I do have it. It's the thing that I possess. Um. Hello? What the hell is this one? Maze? What the fuck? I don't think I made any mistakes in there. I might be wrong. But I don't think I made any mistakes. I think this, uh, these run through the barrier maze randoms from old school RuneScape are, like, you literally cannot fuck up. If I'd fucked up once on the path, I don't think we would've made that. Met a murderer, it's a guardian door. Kill the dog. Good work, girl. I would love to see Supergirl someday. I would just, it'd be so cool. I want to know when they patch Green Charge back in. I'm so fucking excited for Supergirl. Yeah, well, we discovered these exist and now we're going to do a hundred million of them. Fucking. Fucking this one. That was a bad one. Come on quickly. Any keys? Not just a mini boss slime. What I learned about these fucking pawn skater rooms is that they never have anything worthwhile. They're always useless. It's bait. I just want to see if you'll spend the time to do it. Okay, no. So I can like legit say, all right. Oh, shoot, he was just fucking. This man's getting sandbagged. Look at this thing. He's getting fucking sandbagged. You're having an awful afternoon, my little pile of gelatin. Other than the fact that you are comically tanky and I whiff my slaughter. It's always an unpleasant feeling. Oh, he's going for Carl. Carl, defend yourself. Oh, good work. She defended herself. Well played. I got the nuts for 500. Oh, that's not. Nope, that's not happening. We're finding the fuck off doors. We're finding them in a reasonable fashion. We're finding them sequentially.
I love that you get levels from your summon obliterating shit. That's so fucking funny to me. Rectangle don't have it. Hard door. Okay. Gate stone is crimson rectangle. Gate stone is crimson rectangle. Chat, we're gonna remember it together. Gate stone is crimson rectangle. Yeah, we got it. We're all we're all on the same page. Only thing down here is crimson rectangle, and it has the gate stone. There will never be anything over here. It is only a fuck off door. Because if I forget, I have to do this fucking room again. Which I guess we can just walk straight through now, actually. Gate stone, cyan circle. Got it. Mancha. 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 Crimson rectangle. Team Crimson Rectangle team. By the power of our Crimson Rectangles. I don't have a silver pentagon. Crescent. It's not a rectangle. It's a different thing. It's all getting really centralized around the spawn now, which is great, actually. It's gonna make it extremely easy to get around in the future. Crimson Crescent, we have that. Let me go see if I can help any of the doors for XP. 16 minutes! 16 minutes to get to the boss. That ain't bad. Now we're just picking up some Dungeoneering tokens. Oops. Oh. Alright, I didn't see you there. Couldn't feel your little spit once. Tiny little ball tickles. Anything else I can open? That was a fuck off door, and that is silver diamond. I have silver diamond. I have that. We're doing it. And a fuck off room. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We're in there. Every room we could clear. 17 minutes. Uh, 18 minutes by the time I get the bus. 18 minutes. Large floor. Every accessible room. Now I'm gonna go fight Ram or not. I fought Ram or not. Kill Ramonaut without getting charged or make him stun himself. I did one of those two things. I did not get charged or I made him stun himself. Finally, those fools near the surface who refused to follow were forced by the need to survive. I think I didn't have to lift a hand in the end. Today I hear of a mass exodus, all moving down to this depth. I know this is a higher power's doing, bending the will of the world to my cause. I continue. Where's Emmerich? Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Keep rolling level sevens of the versus the bosses. Is that not just how they work? Like, I've just accepted that bosses don't do anything and have no health. It's, it's kind of whelming. I sort of wish there was, like, a boss fight at the end of dungeons. But that doesn't appear to be, like, a mechanic in dungeoneering. He's got a big arena, and sometimes you get achievements that claim that he has mechanics. I've never seen any evidence that any of these guys have any mechanics. Other than stomp. 
what is this? It's the law stat. Because Thor Law Runes, casting spells, you get 10% more law runes. I don't want this fucking oh, pressure. Okay. We got 55 Dungeoneering. We just finished. Floor 25. So we're on floor 26. Which we actually just unlocked in this same run. We're getting there. We're getting up to the end. We're now getting... Our next floor is going to be one we just unlocked doing this string, which got us five levels, by the way. Relatively quickly. Oh, my fucking skills menu is fucked. There we go. By the power... Discovering that vines exist. Turns out this shit is, uh... Way faster. Like, way fucking faster. So I can snort even these large-sized floors. I think if I don't totally fuck up and screw myself... That, like, 15 to 20 minute large floor is about what it should be. Because I... Could have done that in the last floor, too, and I not literally missed one key. So what's the most important priority is we don't miss any keys. What's the second most important priority? Is that tomorrow, you guys come hang out at the season finale of the quest for the Frozen Flame. It's going to be some big epic battles. It's going to be some big pathfinders. There's going to be some fat dice being rolled. It's going to be the end of the Two Perception show. The end of this campaign. When we come back to the table, we're going to be the undeniably good time. We're going to have so much more stuff. We're going to be announcing so many more things we'll be doing tomorrow, including our first couple of streams, what to expect, where we're heading. It's been a huge project that I have put a ton of time into. It really mean a lot to me if you stop by. Or, alternatively... If you hop on over here to twitch.tv slash UGT show, that's where we're going to be in the future. Again, more details about that first stream coming tomorrow at the finale. That's going to be it for me today, everybody. I don't know where my water is. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your support. I don't see you tomorrow. I'll see y'all next week. I'm going to give me some food. Good night, friends. God, dungeoneering is just so fun, man. I just want to dungeon. I just want to do it.